All right, all right, all right. What's good? What's cracking? What's happening? Yeah, this is Mr. Blade Franco. We back again for part two of the My Rise. Now, this time, uh, excuse me, didn't mean to do that. But this time around, we're going to continue our My Rise. We've left off on um, from what I believe we we defended against Kevin Owens after all the bullshit Miz is doing. So now we're working on the side missions that are now leading towards the next defense Miz got to try to fuck us over. Because, you know, it's the Miz. All right, so I did everything I was sitting around at this point. Let's see who we got in the DMs. All right, being champ comes with big perks and new responsibilities. And your hard work has been an insp inspiration for the next generation. So we want to d dedicate our new ring at the performance center to you. Can you help us for the ribbon cutting center ceremony? You earned it. Oh shit. Okay. I feel good about that. They're naming a ring after me. I'm honored, but that seems crazy. It's your derby journey prior to the title that truly inspires the next generation. Your. I'm not going to try to do all this. Your persistence, dedication, and love for the sport embodies the best of WWE, so when can we let the PC know you'll be there? Alright. Wait, what? Oh, sorry, y'all. Give me a second. Hopefully the music's at a good level and hopefully this new setting should help out so that way the audio doesn't really like lag and everything so let's see here absolutely if there's any actually naming a ring for the pc for me the least i can do is show up glad to hear it for anyone training down there it will be a, certainly a day to remember ceremony is in a couple of days we'll reimburse you for the flight down and hotel have a great time thanks i sure will that's still crazy. They I like I come back and they're willing to name a ring after me. It's a little much, but I guess being your champion comes with some perks, you know what I'm saying? So fuck it, let's see it. Grand opening side mission. Let's see what we get out of this. And of course, if you guys are enjoying, please give a follow right here on Twitch or anywhere you see in this. It's mainly Twitch. I'm fucking around. <laughs> but I'm going to be definitely having some fun with this My Rise. I might not finish it all. This is going to be a multi-day thing, so I'm going to try to get as far as I can well, today. Well, if it isn't the there. champ. This is a fun surprise. Oh, what's good, Justine? They didn't tell you I was coming? Huh. Anyway, just down to do the honors and cut the ribbon on the new Dark Horse ring. Nice. The what now? <laughs> the what? The ring you're naming after me to inspire the recruits. To do what? <laughs> Get ridiculously swollen heads? I mean, why stop at a ring? Maybe we should rename WrestleMania Dark Horses Wrestling Rodeo. Uh, okay. I think there's been a bit of a mix-up. Yeah. Last I checked, one lucky win doesn't make you wrestling royalty, even if it did happen in a title match. That's kind of crazy. They just want to try to throw me a ring. To lucky? Anybody You're saying I got lucky? I'm saying you've spent the majority of your time here as a mid-tier superstar. I'm going to base my opinion of you on that. Not the huh. five minutes you've been champion. Justine, you bitch. No one's taking the title off me yet. Oh, between the parking lot and here? Wow, impressive. I'm not hiding from anybody. Maybe you should. Your luck could run out just as fast as fortune smiled on you. I mean, no offense, but I'm training guys here who could give you a run for your money. Oh, word. Pick your okay. best one and have them meet me in the ring. Yo, facts. I'll beat any of them in the ring, bruh. Sure. I just hope you can find it without your name being on it. 
All right, so I, I guess I got sent the joke email telling me they was going to name a ring after me. I come down, nobody knows about the ring, and now I'm being challenged against everyone else. Okay, cool. I can do that. Show them why, why I'm champ for a reason that came out of nowhere. Fuck Hulk Hogan. I'm not going to try to keep saying that the whole time, but I kind of just want to say that the whole time. Right, it's good. Okay, big man's ready. Kind of wish they'll let me like choose my workout outfit. I mean, I'll, I'll take it. I ain't mad about it. Let's go. You just gonna slap me? Motherfucker, get off me! Okay, no, stop trying to run at him. It's not gonna work. <laughs> All right, this is just disrespectful. I'm the champ here, damn it. Put me down, you big bitch. No, not like that. All right. Oh, come on, not again. I feel like there was supposed to be a second chance reversal in here and I kind of missed it. All right, all right. There we go, let's get back on track on this. Don't get me wrong, these trainees are not, not that bad. Try not to let myself get beat up too much. But of course, as I've been playing this My Rise, the, the goal is to play it all through Legend. That's, that's of course, I'm not going to say this game is too easy, but I played WB games for so damn long. Like, so damn long, bro. At this point, I can only play on the hardest difficulty. I, I can't play it on any other difficulty. Oh, where you going, big man? Come on. You trying to get in the WB, right? Fuck. Okay, he's trying to get in. He's just going to throw me into the other trainees. There we go. Catch him on the reverse. Come on, bruh. Nice simple combo with a DDT always works out. Come on, get up. How do I hurt myself when I'm the one giving the move? Alright, plaza match going on. What well, many people have seen Raw last night? I'm pretty I feel like I feel like Raw was pretty good last night. I'm kinda of pissed like my girl Rhea Ripley had to let go of the title because of injury. I feel like she could have held on to it a little bit longer. She didn't have to like drop the belt right away, but I mean, what can you do? Shit. All right, let's go ahead and get this over with, with this guy. Hit him with the yop kick. There we go. Come on. If you get up, you're going to get hurt. Okay, he's going to get hurt. Come on, come on. Damn, I was trying to dodge. They wouldn't let me dodge. That's fine. Hit him with the 808. It's done. One, two. Okay, word. Alright, it looked like he got something unique going on. He's trying to drag me to the middle. Oh, come on, you bitch. Okay, maybe this training is a little bit harder than I thought. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ooh, okay, that's a move right there. I'll give him that. That's a move right there. Nah, you're only getting one from me, bro. You ain't getting more than that. Alright, seriously, I gotta start catching these better. Look, this is the first game of the day, so the first game of the day is going to be a little rough. Four. Five. Leave me in the ring, bitch. Got you shit at the end. Shouts out to CM Punk. Shot always works. Knee shot to the face. And drop that. That's why I thought I had a signature for that. Okay, I gotta double check my moves later on. Right work. Quality spine buster always to do it. Two. That's three. Bring it. All right, we got the first match cleared off. That's that's good. Now I'm just hoping it's not like damage being carried over because that's really what's gonna hurt. Tony. Hey, when did you get in? Oh, just a little while back. This morning. Now, care to explain why I just flew down to Florida to embarrass myself and convince a whole class of trainees that I have an ego bigger than your bosses? Uh, apparently, the WWE social media account got hacked and reached out to various superstars via DM. Hacked. Why you wouldn't it being get one of them. Oh, good looks on, on, on the follow, bro, bro. Good looks on the follow. It's a massive disaster. We've all got to start using this two-factor authentication stuff. There's an app and a little dongle thing I've got to plug into my computer. I have to change my password now because Troy Demand 1996 doesn't have symbols in it or something. I don't think so. I don't think that's a good password. Period. And you have a champion who got embarrassed by fake messages. Remember? How could I forget? You're the one who got us into this whole mess. Me? You're blaming me for this? No, but kind of. I mean, do you give money to every Nigerian prince who slides into your DMs? You should have smelled something fishy there. Tony, I'm a slap. Oh, Tony, if I could slap the shit out of you, I would. If I could, I would. And now everybody in the company, including me, has to go through all this hassle just because you were too gullible to realize you were getting mat fished. The messages came from the official WWE account. Yeah, and it's a good thing they didn't ask you to pay for your travel by sending in random gift cards. Look, you're not the first wrestler to do something remarkably stupid. But when Seth Rollins got himself sprayed in the face with green slime, it really only affected him and a couple people in janitorial. You basically sprayed the entire company in the face with green slime. So don't be surprised if you're not everyone's favorite champion right now. Great. Thanks, Troy. You're welcome. And before you leave today, make sure to pick up that dongle. Oh, Troy, if I could hit you in the face, I would. Oof. I mean, so I came down for a random challenge. Doesn't really do much, but okay. How was the PC, Mr. F Mr. Blake Franco? Did they let you keep the giant scissors? Funny. I was just hoping they would convince you to send a video message thanking WB for their honor. I never thought I actually fell for it and go all the way down there. You were the one who was messaging me from the WB account? Then you and I have some unfinished business. It would be big ass head, JD. Why the hell would I fall for that? 
In real life, I wouldn't fall for that, honestly. I would have called up from someone from WB and be like, the fuck y'all do with naming a Matt after me? I guess everybody's different. Is that, is that business a pyramid scheme you, you left yourself get suckered into? You and me tonight on SmackDown. No titles, no cell phones, no more high mind social media games. Just me and you face to face in the ring. Laugh all you want because your time is running out. Sure, no matter what happens, it's totally worth it. Okay, so now I'm gonna beat the hell out of this motherfucker. I mean, it seems like it's gonna be worth it when it happens. Yeah, but speaking of JD, honestly, JD has done really good on the main roster recently. I've been, I've always been a fan of him at NXT, and I, I can admit, I'm becoming more of a fan of him as he's part of the Judgment Day. Make he really way fits for the Irish in the group. Ace. This is gonna be good. Taking on the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from Bray County, Wicklow, Ireland, weighing in at 180 pounds, JD McDonough. Trained by Finn Balor, inherited that same killer instinct. And McDonough's absolutely not here to make friends. He's here just to fight and win. I don't think JD could make a friend even if he tried. Well, if JD's the Irish ace, I guess that makes you the Joker, Saxton. Or maybe that rules card that everyone just throws out. Oh yeah, make sure it's not too loud. I'll try to turn that down a little bit. Yeah, like I said, JD McDonough's honestly done pretty good. I need to make sure to get his outfit update because I he his outfit update looks much better when you get the one from him in Judgment Day, kinda like what they give him now. But I'm still gonna beat the shit out of him though. Wasting my time at the PC Center. It's the warrior who's followed a dusty trail from the fringes to the spotlight. That reminds me, I gotta make a video for my person. I'm, I'm gonna try to do it off stream. From Hartford, Connecticut, weighing in at 245 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Mr. Blade Franco. With the way this guy stumbled into such good luck and the WWE Universal Championship, let's hope he doesn't stumble down the ramp while he's at it. His title win might have been fortunate, but the longer he holds it, the more you have to admit he's a worthy champ. I don't have to admit anything. To me, he's still got a lot to prove. Well, I guess not much people is going to believe in someone that's instantly become a champion out of nowhere. I mean, I get it. All right, let's get this stuff. There is no title, but a lot of pride on the line as the Dark Horse looks for redemption tonight against digital trickster J.D. McDonough. McDonough doesn't seem like he knows how to set the clock on his microwave, let alone pull off a sophisticated internet scam. It's not hard to send a DM, but it really shouldn't be that easy to fall for one either. The Dark Horse better hope he can do something in the ring to make us forget his stupidity outside of it. Man, I'm just comboing this motherfucker off the way. Into a backbreaker. Fantastic. Boom. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. And that will begin to test McDonough's composure. Enough already. McDonough lacking that surge of energy right now. It's never enough. What you mean? I wasted my time going down to the PC Center. I thought I was going to get a ring line after me. Nah, he's doing he all this work. What you mean? This is just brute power. Sherman! Just pure dominance. I don't care. I'm just beating the shit out of Jamie right now. I like him in real life. But in the game, you get my right work. Point. Ooh. Uh oh. Ah, oh, of course he is. Oh, he retaliates. Oh. Dodged right on cue. Oh, what a okay. drop kick. On the mark. Suicide dive. Took a massive right, nice risk, dive, nice dive. but it might have paid off. Yeah. Boom, what impact. Standing moonsault gets all of it. And don't just look at that as showing off. 
The revolution involved in that move makes the impact so much more devastating. Toss back into I the ring. I like they make it seem like you just got to get hurt. Can the they go on the attack? Oh, this is just too far. Get some control in there. Oh, look at this aggression, just oh. pure brutality. Come on, easy. The U-turn he needed in this match could have been right there. Slip with the spine buster. The win. There's two. No stops the count. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Getting that's dangerously totally fine. close to ending it off. What? JD. I'm gonna drop your head with the 808, bitch. Ooh, skull island. This spells trouble for McDonough. Two count. And that'll about do it, folks. Quick work. Quick work on JD. We've got some time to take another look at some of the highlights from that one. I will admit the challenge systems within like um the my universe they don't seem as bad as they normally would here is your winner mr blade Franco, the undisputed wwe universal champion with another victory will you listen to the ovation from these ham and eggers how can they love this guy so much? McDonough can't let this loss get him down, though. Even though things didn't go his way, he came in prepared and dangerous. And after Man, McDonough got dropped on his big-ass dome piece. Fucking bobblehead-looking motherfucker. But yeah, J.D. McDonough is really good, like I said. In, in game, he had to get that work. In real life, I hope he does something while he's with Judgment Day to keep, like, improving and, you know, look better and everything. But right now, it's working for him. All right, so let's go ahead and up one of these abilities real fast. Throw the grappling up a little bit more. I mean, I am a technician, so it's, it's, it's kind of best to throw up the grapplings. Troy is retarded. I swear to God. Oh, sorry, sorry. Troy is special. His bruh. Why would you put your password up there? All right, so let's see here. Okay, I believe I've done, yep, I've done every side challenge for the time being. Cool. See, while I play to my rise, I admit my goal is always to make sure I try to get through everything because I want to make sure I, I complete every part of the game. I always feel like it's the right thing to do. Okay, so, yep, I completed everything on the side. The only thing left is the Monsters Among Men, then Champion Celebration. So it looked like I'm going to probably have to fight with Braun Strowman, most likely. Well, 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 all hail the conquering hero. <sighs> Troy, what's got you so excited? Other than I finally got that promotion to producer, probably the fact that your stock is on the rise too. The response to your TLC match with KO was off the charts and you've been on a roll ever since. I know my boss Miz has been taking notice. Okay, so what do you and Miz have for me tonight? Network sweeps are coming up, so we need to pop a big rating. And with your newfound popularity around the office, Miz has something very special planned for his undisputed WWE Universe. I don't like the sound of this bullshit. That is the kind of cryptic answer that makes me uneasy. And when I'm uneasy, I get on edge. And when I'm on edge, that makes me want to go out there and create some chaos. Do you want me to create some chaos, Troy? Yes, that's exactly the kind of programming we want during sweeps. So head out to the ring and we'll get to see how your chaos and Mrs. Big Surprise play out. Fuck it, let's head to the ring. I've already been through enough weird shit as it is to start off today, so let's, let's see. Troy, I will head to the ring and I don't care what Miz has up his sleeve. I'm going to tell your boss exactly what I think of him, 
and his big plan for sweeps. Great! Sounds like raiding. Alright, so I, I got some clothes, I guess. Roman movie set set up. Alright, whatever. Let's, let's see what we got. What's going on? What's happening? According to backstage sources, The Miz has something special planned for the WWE Universal Champion. That Miz is willing to let bygones be bygones after all this guy has done is honestly inspiring. What a leader. I haven't been on SmackDown very long. But if there's one thing I've learned, it's that when our GM has a must-see announcement, it's generally bad news for me. So, Miz, I'm not going to sit back and wait for you to try to pull one over on me. Whatever big surprise you have planned, I'm ready for it. Right now. Got to admire the champion trying to do things on his own terms. Come on, Miz. What do you got? If Miz was expecting to intimidate him, Come it on, Miz. seem to be What's working. Happening? They brought back the Kane? Big red machine. They brought Kane for me? He? I feel honored. Kane is in the ring. With a huge oh, God damn. Kane is going to have a throw. Oh, oh, no. Say goodnight, champ. Low blow from the champion. At the end of the day, kicking the ball is always out. Where is he going? <laughs> when you're on the defensive against Kane, anything goes. WWE superstars live on the edge every time they step in the ring, but in a no disqualification match, they find themselves even closer to that edge. You're right, Corey. Anything goes here, I'm so the superstars just have to be He's ready to play defense against any weapons the opposition might use. I was expecting if history is any guy, this match will just pain. get more chaotic and brutal yeah, as the minutes as go well, by. I'm in, I'm in the superstars out, feel each other out a bit, weather some storms, and then do everything in their power to get the pinfall or submission. Moves outside. What's the plan here? Irish whip Kane near the aisle side of the ring. With the Irish whip, Kane reverses it. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness! Did you hear the ring steps? They heard that in Syracuse. Stop trying to suck up the coal, Saxton. This has to stop. Be the careful, WWE champ. Universal careful, champion champ. needs medical attention. No, not this. Not uh -oh. the choke slam uh -oh. on the steel steps. Straight to hell, Whoa. champ. This is horrific. It serves him right. He said he was ready for whatever Miz had planned. That kind of hubris has consequences. Speaking of consequences, you have to wonder if the Miz understands the ramifications of what he's unleashed. I don't think he does. Wait, so you telling me Kane the wants to shot at the belt? The machine has his demented eyes set on becoming the next WWE Universal Champion. Buckle up. This is going to be one hell of a ride. All right, well, let's see what the big surprise was. The surprise was to get attacked by Kane. Miz really doesn't want me to hold his title. If you're joining for the my for the my rise right now, I'm currently at the point where I'm still dealing with Miz not wanting me to be here. So now he sent Kane out to fuck me up. Great. Yeah, I hope you're doing okay. I know we only met that one time at the Mania after party, but I was watching SmackDown and saw my dear ex-husband Kane. I forgot they had that storyline. That storyline was awesome, honestly. Kane and, and, and Lita being together. Lita almost had Kane's kid until Kane caused the miscarriage. It was a wild ass story, bro. <laughs> And coming for your title. I know the guy better than anyone who lived to tell the tale. So if you want some friendly advice, let me know. Why the fuck am I yawning, bro? I'm the only, I feel like I'm one of the only people who could take an energy drink because I drunk some gamer soda before I started this. Literally just before I started the stream, like what? Less than a half an hour ago, and I'm already yawning like multiple times. And the game's not boring me. I just I don't know why. William Regal, are you alright? I suspect Miz would attempt some shenanigans. Um, 
chicanery, I'm sorry, chicanery, but, summer, but summoning a creature as horrifying, I mean, as horrific as Kane, simply to goose his numbers is low even for him. Best of luck, young man. Shit, I'ma need the luck. But okay, let's, let's see what we got next going on. Dirty Dom. Yo, the one thing I haven't heard of, I, I purposely haven't heard much spoilers, but one spoiler I did hear was I heard Dirty Dom's voiceover work is shit. So let's 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 hear it because I don't I haven't heard it. Uh, hey Dom, what's up? I know things started out rough between us going for the WWE Universal Title. It was dog eat dog, but I get it because it was just like that in the yard back when I was in the joint. I, uh, sure thing, man. Water under the bridge. This thing Miz has going on with you and Kane, it ain't right. But I think I might know a way you can take care of that big red freak. Okay, wow. They was right. Dominic voiceover work sounds bad. I am definitely open to some advice. Especially since I hear Miz is going to announce a title match against Kane. Of course he is. Glad you're willing to listen, but not here. Miz has oh, got stooges God. creeping everywhere. You want my help with Kane? Meet me out in the parking lot. I'll keep that in mind. Lita actually offered to help me out too. Seems like you gotta make a choice then. Get help from Kane's old flame, or fight fire with real fire. Me. Oh, we finally to our first branching selection. Okay. This is where they do mention that it's always good to play the game multiple times. But all right, so I can either get help from Lita or get help from Dom. I'll be a thousand. Dom doesn't know shit about game. I doubt he does. So I'd rather take the advice from Lita who knows of game. Plus I'd rather take advice from a legend than someone who's still coming up in the business, regardless of the family heritage. I appreciate you, Dom, but Kane and Lita have history. I'm gonna see what she has in mind. Suit yourself, but just remember, when Kane beats you down and takes your title, you could have prevented it. Too bad. I'll be fine, my nigga. You work on your voiceover work. It's my God, that sound. His voiceover work sounds rough, bro. Like really rough. Right, I'm trying I'm trying to make sure these levels are right here. Alright. After the shock and return of Kane, the WWE Universal Champion will take on the demon for the gold on Miz. SmackDown sweeps spectacular. But what condition will Blade Frank will be in? Hopefully terrible condition if that means we crown a new champion. By the way, we call we call that the sweep swerve around here. Regal, take notes. Sweep, swerve. My God. Good one, boss. Uh, Troy and Miz both give me a headache. I swear already. I'm still early into my rise and I already got a headache from Miz and Troy. Get some agua. The legend Lita. Yo, I admit, Lita, I've always been a fan of. Not the biggest fan, but I was always a fan of her when she came into the business. And I still say she she had one of the best entrance entrance music, if not still one of the best entrance music. I can listen to that shit all day, bro. Lita, I appreciate you helping me out against Kane, but why are we going to Mexico? What does this have to do with anything? We're going to Mexico? Listen, I got my start in Mexico, and I ended up wrestling in some pretty out-of-the-way places. Dark, dangerous places. Okay. So long before I came to WWE and met Kane, I encountered a similar monster out in the jungles of Lacondon. They called him La Llama Roja, or the Red Flame. Are you messing with me? Not at all. I made some calls and I found him. So we're going to Mexico because if you can survive the flame, you might be able to defeat my dear ex-husband. I bet you money she was about to start laughing saying that you can tell in her voice she was. That sounds like a pretty big if. 
Great risks, greater rewards. Come on, let's go on an adventure, kid. I feel like I should move. I should move this real fast. Like I don't know where I, where I want to put my camera, but because it, it's like everywhere I put it, I I feel like I'm blocking something. You know, what? boom, fuck it. We'll put it right in the middle. I feel like there's no way I'm blocking something in the middle. Plus, you get to check out how how hot Lita looks. Like Lita looks really good in this game. All right, let's see what happens when we go to Mexico. Oh, God. I know most likely this guy had to be slimmer and like when Lita was talking about him because homie looked bigger than the motherfucker right now. I really wish they allowed the My Rise characters to like be be played on like all different versions. Cause last year my My Rise characters really was wanting me to put them in the game. Like I really wanted to get them in there. My guy looks pretty good in the game. I, I feel like I put a lot of good work into him. All right, honestly, this I, I I just I feel like I can't win with this. <laughs> All right, let's get this pop. Let's skip the rest of that and just get right to the match. Oh. just walked into that. What the fuck? Okay, okay. Yo, this, these dudes are real. I'm already at red and you only hit me with two moves. I thought he was, I thought he was gonna fly. Nope, fuck that. There we go. Put some work on to him. Yeah, that's fine. That's fine. 
try to get some stamina back in there. Oh, I was going to catch him with the crossbody. He was ready. Oh, no. Nah, I ain't tapping out, bro. Can I get him up? Hit him with the 808. Come on, bro. Second chance is obviously. From the ground with another 808. It's the elbow. All right, that was a good match. Blaine was definitely, definitely about to beat my ass. I thought he was gonna beat me quick, but I got through it. Luckily. this down just a bit just a wee bit all right i got through flame now let's see what i can do next f hawk hogan F Hawk Hogan. While rumors swirl that Mr. Blade Franco has been spotted in Mexico with WB Hall of Famer Lita, the Demon Kane awaits their Universal Championship showdown coming up next week on SmackDown. Training with Lita in Mexico? Seriously? That's your plan, Mr. Blade Franco? Well, you're going to need more help than that. Because I'm making your match with Kane a casket match. Looks like the beginning of a new streak starts next week. Ooh, my first casket match. I haven't tried to cast this casket match yet since I played this, so I ca I'm kind of hyped for this. I'm really down to see what happens in a casket match. The red flame was everything you said, Lita. My whole body is basically a bruise. La Yelma Roja is a legend, a monster, and as rough as you're feeling right now, <sighs> yeah, it's going to be worse with Kane, especially now that it's a casket match. Can't wait. If you beat Kane at his own game, it'll go a long way to earn the respect of the WWE universe. And now you know the kind of effort it's going to take to do it. It'll take everything I got. And then some. Which is why when grit and determination aren't enough to put Kane in a casket, maybe you use a little something extra. Such as? Check your bag when you get to SmackDown. When you use them, tell Kane his ex says hello. Oh boy. Lita looked like she got something to help me out. Okay, I'm with it. I really, I really am enjoying this My Rise, honestly. It's not too action packed, but at the same time, it's like not lacking. Gosh, 
God, I wish my body would stop yawning. See, this is what happens when you work a full-time job and then you try to come on to the stream afterwards, you know, just to stream games and video games. The mere presence of the devil's favorite demon. A chilly monstrosity and a disdain for all humanity. This is the big red machine. Honestly, I was mean to look it up. I'm about to say, was Kane is Kane technically already like a Hall of Famer or are they just saying that he's about to be in the Hall of Fame? And there he is, the man. I mean, don't get me wrong, he got the credibility for it. I, so I can see it. Look at that belt. Look at that. 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 All right, let's skip on to the, to, to the announcements. Ah, I gotta hold this up. It's only right I hold this up. Introducing the challenger from parts unknown. Why he looks like he's about to choke slam the announcer. <laughs> and his opponent from Hartford, Connecticut, weighing in at 245 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Mr. Blade Franco. Yeah. Set that down right here. That's what it's all about. The undisputed WWE Universal Championship. The WWE Universe knows all about the history, the lineage, everything that goes into the importance no of this match. Submissions, disqualifications, or countouts. The only way to win is for a superstar to force their opponent inside of the casket. After closing the casket lid shut, the remaining superstar will be declared the winner. Now, okay. Let the match begin. No matter how many times I've seen a casket match, they still make me feel a little uneasy. Could you imagine being trapped in one of those? Well, God damn it! Oh, that's a threw me on to the side. Oh, that's a little start of match. Okay. Casket, and he gets excited. He loves it. The champ hasn't faced anything like this in his career. Is this the night his championship is put to rest? Ah, oh, just like that. Bang! On top of the casket. Fuck your ass on this goddamn casket. Oh, man, knee strike. Out of all matches, why am I going up against King? Look, I know I'm just a heavyweight in size comparison, but I should be able to at least luckily lift up Kane. He catches Kane with a counter. Why do he reverse my chance at making the last move? He's returning fire. Oh, and a wicked clothesline. Oh, no. Comes nah, back into the him. ring. No. Did this man just roll over the casket to get in the ring? Kane turns it around. Had that one scouted. Oh man, face buster. Challenger's a little worse for wear now. Boom! Good oh, we'll get a knee shot to the home. Sorry, European uppercut. Stretch him out, stretch him out. Oh, Fujiwara armbar applied. That kind of force in the arm can have lingering effects. Our ringer up. Oh, you son of a bitch. Top wrist lock, opponent down to one knee. They're gonna have to try to fight out of this. Body shots connecting. Up, 
Heads out and he has all the time someone, he wants. someone in the crowd just said, deal enough punishment. Like, no shit, bitch. And he goes into the ring. He turns it around. Nope. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. I will, and I'll admit that jumping face buster has been helping me so much, bro. That was nasty. A steady stream of moves taking out Kane. Kane has to turn this around and quick. Yeah, Kane getting some newly determined focus. Uh, ooh, trick to the arm. This clutch into the elbow. Oh my gosh. We've already seen a few. Okay, I admit, I forgot how to use the brass nugs. All right, toggle to the power of the punch. Hold that. Man. Two shots delivered up in that region. Lights out. DDT connects. And he has to start protecting himself. What do they have? What? Oh! Bitch. No, no. <laughs> Lita said, what up, though? Impact in the corner. Okay. I haven't done, like I said, I haven't done a casket match, so I have no clue how I'm supposed to get him into this ring. Out of the ring oh. and into the casket. The end okay. is near. Wait, all right, so what am I supposed to do? Okay, close it from here. Desperately oh, to okay, it gets, it gets to a mini game afterwards. I can't believe they actually right. made it out of the casket. Come on, Kane, get your ass in there. He's outside the ring now. We're gonna open He's that first. Plan. He's heading back to the ring. What's Kane got coming to? I'm gonna let you hit me with that. Take the 808 real fast. Now what you the mean? perfect time to take him to his final resting place. Get your last in that casket. Close it, close it, close it. In there. Trying to close the lid. Trying. This is gonna be tough. It's not over yet. The bitch ass is going to get in that casket. We're going to get in this casket. Hey, you. To put the lid on this one yet. Well, Apparently, I guess I got to keep hurting. The casket is easier said than done. Taking this outside. This could be good. I, he just threw me back in the room. match right now it really looks like Kane's struggling right now counter and now there's an opening big knee to the midsection all right I'm definitely going to be at a fight with Kane for a while here into the midsection got to find a way to get out of this oh, what nope. a shot in nope. the air nope. down Yes, Mr. Casper. Thank God. He leaves the ring and there's no countouts in this one. Re-entering the ring now. Right, come on, get up, bro. Get up, 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 get up. He's taking this to the floor now. I ball this. Back into the ring. Oh! Bitch. Take out this big ass bastard. Oh, right to the side of the face. He wants it one more time. All right. Oh my god, that's gotta hurt. A golden opportunity here to seal them in that casket. 
Now I feel you. I just gotta get my damn stamina up. Oh come on! How am I getting into this bitch? Nope. Get your big ass off me. I ain't break. I ain't beating that much. No, I didn't mean to. He catches King taking flight. Kane is losing grip on this map. Ah, uh, setting them up for the fisherman buster. The title's going nowhere. Ooh. Kiss your dreams. You know that took a lot of me. All right. Hopefully this could work. Bitch, get, get your ass in there. Nah, 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 nah. Close the damn casket. Okay, the casket match not that bad at all. I like it. You literally gotta beat the shit out of your opponent, and then you gotta go through a whole sequence like submissions. I like it. That's not bad. Sure, but let's not gloss over the fact he cheated to do it. Come on, Corey. Whoa, wait, what's going on? It's Roman Reigns. Bravo. Congratulations. The Dark Horse manages to win another race. Okay. And I didn't even have to win it for you this time. Did you forget? You're only standing there because of me. The locker room hasn't forgotten. The WWE Universe hasn't. And they won't. You can hold my WWE Universal title for a year. Two years. Why not three? It doesn't matter. You're just a tenant. I'm the landlord. You're holding something that doesn't belong to you because its owner has other interests. For now. Later, Chuck. Was that really Word, necessary? Word. 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 Okay. Word. No lies, Cole. Roman Reigns somehow just made a huge win for the WWE Universal Champion feel like a loss. Look, it doesn't matter how I got this belt. The fact is, I've been defending this belt match against match. I faced off against not one, but two giants already right now. I even beat Kevin Owens to, to retain it. I've beat the whole locker room to retain it. I don't give a fuck. Roman got me fucked up, bruh. The, the, the Universal Champion Blade Franco is a dark horse no more. Defeating the Hall of Famer like Kane is and cements his place as the top of WB packing order. You're damn right. At least on SmackDown, in all seriousness, Blade Franco is a fine man and great WWE Universal Champion. I'm proud to see all he all his, he has accomplished in his first months as champion. Bravo. Thank you, Mr. Regal. Thank you. Shit, hearing that from, from Mr. Regal is better than anybody else in this game. And here's the bitch-ass Miz. <laughs> what you gotta say? What's next, boss? You got Isaac Yankum in your contacts? Oh, yes. What a huge and impressive victory. Clearly, Roman Reigns was in awe of your incredible performance. Easy to talk smack from the sidelines, isn't it? The ego on you. You've been in the show for a hot minute, got a few lucky breaks, and all of a sudden, you think you're a legend? It's not about what I think. It's about what I am. And that's the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, whether you like it or not. Facts. But next week, the week after, the next PLE, Roman said it himself. You're just champion. For now. I don't care what Roman or anyone else says. You just keep setting them up. I'll keep knocking them down. I always felt like that was a classic wrestling line to always use in any, like, wrestling argument. You keep setting them up. I'll keep knocking them down. Like it's 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 great, <laughs> but all right. Who else they got me in?
I respect that. Sometimes to beat the villain, you gotta become one. Three three hundred sixty-two days after right all now. Was That's said good. And done, Becky Lynch won the WWE Women's Championship. The man is once again the man, and the WWE Universe could not be happier. The same can't be said on Raw, where the World Heavyweight Championship has been moving around like a hot potato. Well, Damn. if you want championship consistency, look no further than SmackDown. General Manager The Miz has been obsessed with dethroning the WWE Universal Champion. But the man many call the Dark Horse has now become the workhorse, turning back every challenge. If he successfully defends the title against Drew McIntyre in a Falls Count Anywhere match at SummerSlam, he will have been champion for a full year. Speaking of championship streaks, Gunther will look to continue his amazing run as the longest running intercontinental champion of all time. I love even in the video he game, he gets the recognition. Title. I love that. My nigga still gets the recognition even in the video game. All right, so currently, they fast forward through time, and I'm now just about a year long as champion. I like that. The following is a Falls Count Anywhere match, and is for the undisputed WWE Universal Championship. Let's go, baby. I'm sorry if it looks through this gameplay I keep yawning I honestly don't need to I swear I feel like one of the only people that can take a, that can drink an energy drink well, is somehow Warrior. tired carrying his trusted blade Angela McIntyre summons the support of the WWE Universe into battle Yo, Drew McIntyre's had a very interesting run recently. Like, I do find it pretty cool this run that he's had. And I'm happy he finally got a WrestleMania moment, even though it came at the cost of also being cashed in. The hell. The, the man won his world title. Other superstars to win the 2020 uh, Royal and at the end of the day, that's what matters the most. The fact that he won the title, he won in front of fans, and the fans actually embraced him. Even I was happy for it because I called it. I personally said, man, Drew is going to get the belt off of Seth because Seth has been working himself like crazy. So it only makes sense. Yeah, and McIntyre's intensity is always off the charts. man, I, I, I hope he resigns and I hope he stays long enough to where he can have that rivalry with The Miz. I mean, with CM Punk in the ring. That's really going to what I'm going to look forward to. McIntyre versus CM Punk. That match is going to be fucking brutal. You already know it's going to. And look at that champion coming out looking good. I will say the arenas, very nice. I'm not convinced there's enough talent to back it up. Frankly, I'm starting to think that Dark Horse is nothing more than a forgettable donkey. Hey, donkeys play a vital role in agriculture, and this guy is playing a vital role in today's WWE. Seriously, Byron? I respect Byron trying to defend me. It sounded weird, but at least he tried. But yeah, Corey Graves can eat a dick. <laughs> I don't know why he's just hating. He's hating so much on the fact that I'm a champion. And I'm already about to hold it for a, a whole year. All right, you know the announcement's coming, so let me let me get my belt up here real quick. Introducing the challenger from Ayers, Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the Scottish Warrior, Drew. I hope he resigns. I want this man to resign. I feel like he just fits the arena stated. Yeah, 
Yucked out. So I'm holding on to this a feeling we're about little to bit see more. Classic, gentlemen. You can see the desire in these competitors' eyes reflected right back at them in the shine of that championship's gold. As the champ reaches 365 days with his title, All right, so no other stipulations. Just got to beat Drew. Okay, that's easy. Getting it from all sides. The Miz has won the title off of him since day one. No one said this would be easy. I'm shocked the so-called Dark Horse has had the title for a year. Almost a year? He has to get past Drew McIntyre tonight in this brutal Falls Count Anywhere match. Hooked up. Oh, she goes. She. McIntyre gets ah, away from that. I missed that. Sometimes I forget Drew McIntyre can actually die. To be extremely detrimental. Can you recover from such an error? You have to wonder. What? Where is the harassment and bullying? All I'm doing is playing a video game. You know, you know some someone just saying that just to say that. That's crazy. I'm playing a video game. Where is the harassing and bullying? Who did I harass and bully? There's not even anybody talking in the chat. I'm so confused. Rarely do we see Drew get disassembled like this. You know, it's whatever. Hey, if you're seeing this on, on TikTok, I'm on Twitch right now, so you can always fi find me on Twitch. You don't often see the champion get thrown around that easily. Outside the ring now, he has no need to rush. And of course, Kendo sticks are always under the ring in the event of any rogue ninja attacks. I'm saying here, pray to wrestling. Playing WB My Rise and somehow I'm oh, harassing and bullying. Where? Bitch, where? And the referee ends the count. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. Suplex brings it down. What a throw of the much larger opponent. Suplex. Yeah, come on, Drew. Close line. The challenger not looking good right now. False count anywhere matches are absolutely no joke. And they're showing us that firsthand right now. Oh, I always love this move right here. And a maneuver like Takes so much skill to do that move. And a lot of core straight. A lot of core straight. <laughs> Ooh, I almost threw that on. Pinpoint precision. Right on target. Man, knee strike. This fight is going down right in front of our faces. More up close and personal than I'd like to be. McIntyre is getting dismantled. Drew doesn't usually allow his opponents to come on, Drew. Come on, Drew. These are dangerous attacks on their own, but now the damage is exponentially multiplying. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Look, Drew, I'm happy you had your WrestleMania moment in real life, but here in the video game, you, you ain't getting my belt, bruh. Great counter impressive ring IQ on display there. Oh, All right, I got I gotta find a way to get my guy to like to get, to get some energy up. Uh-oh. Well that works. That's that's one way to do it. This is a very dangerous situation now. He moves just in time. And he's taking on a persistent assault. Yeah, he's got ah, this sword almost had it. That's fine. He is revving up the engine. He's not going to let anything stop him. Great oh, come on. McIntyre finally finding an answer to that onslaught. Drew weathered the storm and wants to create some of his own thunder now. All right, so Drew looked like he tried to make a fight. But it's not going to work. Come on. I'll let you bring him the chair. Just to get tossed up. Here we go. Pick up the chip. Come on in. The ring is fine. Bitch. <laughs> yeah, that's honestly been one of the reasons 
why I wanted to why I wanted to get the new version so badly. Just to do that. <laughs> to throw a chair at someone's face. That shit is hilarious. <laughs> Alright, can I reach him? That's the better question. No, I could not reach him. I did not give my guy a lot of range. <laughs> Kick down, rip, drop him on his down piece. Elbow drop right on point. And McIntyre on the receiving end again. Drew's getting cut off at the knees at every turn. Close line in the corner. What up, Drew? Had to give a quality elbow, even though it glitched on the fall. Two and a half in the waning moments of this match. Ooh, I know what I want to do here. What a counter! Now's a chance for McIntyre to get back into this match. All right, I gotta be careful Fishwater here. Headed outside, guys, and that one misses the mark. Oh, stomping away, and now he's producing some overwhelming offense. Oh, yeah, well. one attack after the other. Down. Okay, so the glitching is still sem semi there. But it's fine. That's fine. All right. Before I continue, I need to look back at my moves. It's been a while. The Hardaway. Oh, that's what I have. It was the middle rope. I sat here and thought it was the top rope. Ref, watch out. Walking the ropes. Gave him the Hardaway. Now it's time for the H bomb. <laughs> Yo, the H bomb has been one of my favorite moves that came from um, Italy and Dragunov. I did see that he got it from the UFC fighter, but I like that he uses it in the game. I mean, well, in the ring, per se. But yeah, I feel like the H bomb is a perfect super to use. Hold up, hold up. Yeah. Keep this belt nice. Nobody can keep the WWE Universal Champion down. The right man might not have shown up yet, but he will sooner or later, and this fluke run will finally end. There we go, baby. There we go. So far, this, this this playthrough has been, I'm not gonna say easy, but easy on the on on the spectrum nonetheless. What is SummerSlam victory tonight? The Dark Horse has risen tall for a year. All hell, Mr. Blade Franco, our universal champion. Roman Reigns, <laughs> give me a break. How this potato can can has held onto my WWE Universal title for a year is one of his life's greatest mysteries. Roman, for someone that bragged about helping me get the belt, you talk a lot of shit for it. That's crazy, bro. You helped me. You helped make this happen. If you told me a year ago that you would still be WWE Universal Champion, I wouldn't have believed it. I am delighted to disappoint you. Am <laughs> I disappointed? You're a draw. For some reason, people seem to like you. It's just that damn insistence on doing the exact opposite of everything I say that drives me nuts. Perfect. I've never been great with authority. How long are we gonna keep doing this? I am the most must-see general manager in SmackDown's history. You're the WWE Universal Champion with all the momentum. So what if we work together instead of being at each other's throats? Because this right now, this feels like yet another trap you're trying to spring. I don't trust you. Call it a choice Facts. between the carrot and the stick. The carrot is, I make you into a cross-platform superstar like WWE has never seen. Of course, you'll need to have a bit of an attitude change and be willing to get your hands dirty. 
Okay. And what's the stick? The stick is, reject my offer, and if you think it's been a hard year, you can't even imagine what's coming next. After what I'll put you through, you will never escape Roman's shadow. Interesting. Maybe that's exactly what I'd do. Escape his shadow and yours, too. What the hell does that mean? What it means is I hear NXT is a really cool brand. Ooh. Never been. Maybe I take the undisputed WWE Universal Championship, head down to NXT, and go after the title that Roman never won. What? You have a contract. You can't just walk off my show. I don't know. After this past year, I think I've shown I can do just about whatever I want. Fine. You have a choice to make. Work with me and have everything you've ever dreamed of. Or I make you regret ever becoming a WWE superstar. Oh, so we got a nerd choice. I could go to NXT with the belt and earn a second belt while I'm at it or team up with The Miz, even though The Miz is obviously is setting up a trap. You know what? I bought... The funny thing is, on, on my wall right here, I have, let me grab it. I have the NXT title, the first version of the NXT title. I've always said, if I went to WWE, the first thing I would want to do is go to NXT and win the NXT title. And bruh, the original title belt, always been my favorite, always has. I was so happy when I got this belt. So, you know, we're going to NXT. There's no way in hell they're going to strip my belt from going to NXT. I, I fail to believe they're going to strip my belt if I chose to go to NXT. The only stick you've got is the one we allow you to wield. So I'm going to break it and go to NXT. Do this and you will be in breach of contract. The consequences will be enormous. Oh, I bet they will. If I'm Triple H... I'd look at the GM of SmackDown alienating the WWE Universal Champ so bad that he goes AWOL to another brand as a real negative in his next performance review. Facts. I wonder if Adam Pierce is available. You're going to regret this. You first. <laughs> I, I like the back and forth with these two. I really do, actually. But nice. Let's go check out NXT. I'm, I'm down. I'm, I'm with it. Yo, I, I still respect Asuka having the greatest reign in the NXT history. Social media were true. It's the undisputed WWE Universal Champion here on NXT. This is going to send shockwaves throughout the WWE Universe. SmackDown GM The Miz must be having a panic attack. I'd be too if my champion fled to another brand. We'll have to see if this is a one-time appearance or a more permanent move. Oh yeah, this is going to be fun. Now, I definitely do see myself playing this over again as well. Maybe not on stream, maybe, but I'm definitely feeling like playing this again to take all the routes I didn't take just to see everything that happens. Nice. Took care of the monster among men's and I got Roman's whole getup. The Universal Champion has arrived on NXT and we are rolling out the black and gold carpet. NXT one, uh, Mr. Blake Franco wants a match tonight. Then we're going to give him one. Don't you dare, Shawn Michaels. This is a talent poaching and a breach of several ironclad contracts. In fact, I'll be sending a strongly worded memo to the WB board of directors immediately. Oh, a strongly worded memo. Laugh all you want, NXT has no claim on my universal champion. Look, the fact that I am here is all that matters. Oh, let's see what WB said. Can the Universal WB Champion really walk out of SmackDown? I kind of did. <laughs> I kind of did. <laughs> all right, uh, let's let's level up some stuff. Yeah, get the running and arrow leveled up. Now I will say the funniest part, even as I played through this with my rise, I might not keep this pers this version of my character. Maybe, but I might not. Wait, wait, wait. 
Grayson Waller? Wait, I don't think they would ever do that. Grayson Water Waller as NXT champion? That guy, yo, he had to cheat his way to get that shit. There's no way. Let's see what Justine got to say. Hey there, champ. Wasn't expecting to see you here tonight. I guess you don't read social media much. Eh, I try not to. Fair, I respect it. Well, it's a pleasure to meet you, Justine. I was a big fan of your work back in the day, and that comeback run with your niece was certainly memorable. Thanks. That was the point. Anyway, not sure if you've heard, but I've transitioned into a behind-the-scenes producer role here in NXT. Okay. So I can tell you that your request to have a match here tonight has been officially approved. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I actually already saw Shawn Michaels posted that. Maybe I do need to start paying more attention to social media. Nonetheless, we're excited to have you here at NXT for tonight. And maybe more long-term? What exactly is your plan? You sound like everyone else on the internet. But sorry, can't give you any scoops. I'll tell the world what I plan on doing here after my match. Fine. Good luck out there. And welcome to NXT for however long that ends up being. Hey, thank you for the welcome. I'm happy to be here in the black and gold, baby. Now let's see what's up with Wallet with the belt that I, I think I need to add. Now, I don't hate the version of the belt now where it has the, 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 the red and blue coloring behind it. But I, I don't know why. I feel just more comfortable just having the straight, simple black and gold. I feel like it just, it feels right. Well, look who it is. The high and mighty undisputed WWE Universal Champion himself has graced us with his presence here in NXT. I don't really know you, Grayson, but I assume that was sarcasm. Of course it was. You can walk in here with your fancy title, but I need you to understand that I'm the man around these parts, mate. Word. Okay. Honest, honestly, I like the character of Grayson Waller. He's a phenomenal person, phenomenal heel. He does his job very well. He takes his ass beating very well, too. Much respect. So I'll compliment him. I get more than anyone what it takes to be a champion. So I respect what you've accomplished across multiple brands in WWE. There's no need to get defensive. I'm the NXT champion, so I'll get however I want to get. And by the way, I'm also the biggest box office superstar ever. So why are you even here on my show, trying to glom onto the Grayson Waller effect, I presume? <sighs> I've been getting that question a lot. But sorry, champ. You're going to have to wait along with everyone else to find out after my match. I respect how, how, how close my guy is keeping that announcement to the chest. I respect it. All right. First match in NXT. Let's see what's going to happen. Yo, Asuka is still to today one of my favorite women wrestlers. But the one thing I'm just so pissed about out of all of her accolades, it seems like she always loses at fucking WrestleMania. And I hate Here that that happens. Of British strong style. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Dudley, England. Weighing in at 100. And 75 pounds, Tyler Bates! All right, all right. He captured the NXT UK Championship as a teenager. Yeah, and he's only gotten better since. Same fighting spirit, but stronger and smarter than ever. It's really difficult to match this man's grappling skills or his mustache. He's got a beard. And he actually has a beard, Byron. Die, but the mustache part is amazing. Guys, is it legal to pull facial hair during a match? Mask it for a friend. No doubt about it. We are in for something. I think it's technically tonight. legal, but I still wouldn't recommend it as a guy who has a beard. If, I, if someone pulled my beard in a, beard in a fight, that, that gives me the right to rip your arm off. NXT. There we go. And his opponent 
from Hartford, Connecticut, weighing in at 245 pounds, the undisputed WWE Let me hear it. There we go. Would not have predicted we'd see the champ end up here. Nobody would have, but I guarantee there isn't an NXT fan anywhere who's complaining. I understand the legal stuff that's going on with Brock Lesnar, but I'm so mad they took him out in the game in a way, because Brock, all of Brock Lesnar's like um, entrance stuff was what I originally had as my entrance during the last games, because like it just fit so perfectly. But it's all right. I can make do. Tyler Bates, I fucked you too heavy, but uh, I, I gotta take you out. But we do know Miz has already filed a complaint to Triple H and the board of directors regarding the champion's appearance tonight. We'll have to see how that all plays out. He manages to escape it. Come on, bait. We gotta have a slugfest. We ain't gonna win it though. Tyler didn't look too comfortable there. Measured knee drop. I will say I respect how Tyler Bate was able was able to be crowned like the youngest UK champion. I think I think it's it's, it's almost officially the youngest champion all over the, all across the board. So much torque on the knee and ankle. An unrelenting assault being brought to bait. Every time I try to wake up and, and I need to stop trying to do that. Wicked clothesline. Got you with a close line. And a reversal by Tyler Bates. The oh, wicked kick to the lower back. Nope. He finds a counter. Yo, that's. I I thank Johnny Gargano for doing that in the WWE uh -oh. ring. And I love the slingshot spear. Oh, Bate was ready for that. Watch you slip in. elbow drop. Oh man, this match may be nearing its limit, and this is. Uh, Oh, it's not looking good. Picture perfect drop. Okay, kick. nice, nice. And he's able to counter. Punch connects. That holds back Bates' attack. Oh, watch the speed. This blitz of strikes. Boom. Oh, hold on. Taking a trip outside, but he's got to be mindful of the count. Coming back in the ring. Oh, okay, okay. Nice. Oh, no, not the airplane. Damn it. I will say it's a very, it's a very impressive move. Just as impressive as Cesaro's swing, or Claudio Castanoli, I should call him. And finally, Dark. Big strong boy doing big strong boy things. Just pure Nah, bruh. Power. You gotta do more work than that. United Kingdom champion. Going way up high. Lift off. I swear I thought of a burst down. But okay. Nope, not enough. I do not know how they got up from that. Operating on pure instinct and adrenaline right now. That was the best weapon in the arsenal, but it wasn't enough to produce an end result. Is are you glitched? All right, if you're gonna sit there, really? Absolutely foolhardy decision made. Sat there the whole time. You didn't attempt to move. I attempt to finally do a move and he reversed it.
Tyler Bay with all the confidence of a young man and none of the intelligence. Stay on him, kid. Oops. Okay. Well, that was pretty smart right there. To the outside. This could get wild. Uh, left into it, German. All right. He is destroying me on the outside. Uh oh, this is just vicious. No. I mean, I, I don't blame him, honestly. When you think realistically, if you have a shot, if you have a non title match against somebody who is the top champion across all brands, you might as well try to do everything you can to defeat him. I had that well scouted. Could be a chance for him to change the complexion of this match. Drawing dangerously close to a cap. Bate unprepared here. Got your snipping. Drop you with the 808. He's most likely gonna kick out. Okay, I knew the side. I knew it was gonna happen. Him with the hard away. That's gonna be it. There's two. What a victory here on NXT for the WWE Universal. That champion. was a good match, bro. Definitely a good match. Tyler Bay no definitely was looking convincing. Patience, Saxon. I think we're about to find out. It feels damn good to be here in NXT to compete in front of all of you and finally get away from the Miz that's always a good feel for anybody <laughs> but let me set the record straight and put all the rumors to rest well this felt good to get my first NXT win it won't be my last i'm not here just for a one-off appearance no this this is bigger than that okay every champion in wwe walks in the shadow of roman reigns me more than any other so i'm here because i want something that sets me apart from the head of the table something that roman never won and that is the nxt championship so yeah. sean michaels if you're looking for a can't miss main event, <laughs> I'm ready when you are. Did the WWE Universal Champion I, just I like the sound of it, honestly. NXT I, I like the sound of it. Not sure how much of an ask that was. He's pretty much forcing Shawn Michaels' hand. Well, I know I'd love to see Grayson Waller go toe to toe with SmackDown's champion. So would I, but he's going to have to get in line. Waller already has the defense lined up at NXT Battleground. Either way, it's going to be a huge matchup if and when it happens. All right, so my boys try to become a double champion. I, I like the sound of that, honestly. I really do.
Do we want a can't miss main event of the NXT champion Grayson Waller defending against the Universal Champion Blade Franco? Um, yes, please. Consider it done next week on NXT. I love that it's next week. <laughs> Seriously, Shawn Michaels, did you forget I'm facing Waller at Battlegrounds in a few weeks for the title? What happened to with my match? Things are moving fast, Wesley, and we need to strike while the iron's hot and before we get any more legal injunctions. <laughs> I respect it. Translation, Mr. Blade Frickle shows up out of nowhere and wins one's match and then basically steals my title opportunity. I'd like to know what the hell is going on here also. I mean, what can you do? Dom showing up here. I already did the whole outsider shows up in NXT and win a championship thing. Yawn. Dom, it was unfair to the NXT locker room when you did it, and it's unfair now with Mr. Blade Franco. I agree. Justice for, Wes for, for Wesley and everyone else who deserves a chance before Mr. Blade Franco. I don't have time for this. Not, no one deserves anything other than you losers deserving to be blocked. <laughs> Yo, I really love Dom's character. They, they do a lot of work with him and his character. Uh-oh. I can tell Justine's gonna be pissed. Well, now we know your plan, and it's really exciting. I mean, other than the several hashtags that are now trending on social media. I thought you said you didn't pay attention to that stuff. I don't, but I am now. And honestly, it's not good. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's great that you're here. But you've ruffled a lot of feathers among fans and the NXT superstars who say you've just waltzed in and jumped the line. Fair words. Well, I, I yeah. Shawn Michaels seemed happy with it. It's a huge match for NXT. But Sean has had to take several calls from The Miz and his Mizzy and Troy about possible legal action. Oh, Not to mention this blowing up our plans for NXT Battleground. This is kind of a mess. I'm sorry you're having to deal with all this. That wasn't my intention. But knowing Miz, he's just full of hot air and it'll all blow over. Hopefully. Okay, but what do I tell the locker room full of angry wrestlers? You can tell them when I become NXT champion, I'll be happy to give anyone a title opportunity who feels I skipped the line. I mean, that's fair. I'll relay the message after I delete these 17 voicemails from Troy. Oh boy. Man, that guy's annoying. Persistent, but annoying. Yeah, that has to be a headache, bro. All right, this stream is gonna keep going, but I'm gonna close up this other one here. This one's looking like a dead dead cover up on here. I was a little bit on TikTok, I'll admit, but other than that, it nah. TikTok doesn't look like it's working out much. It's official. Next week on NXT, Mr. Blade Franco will challenge Grayson Waller for an NXT championship. This is trade trademark infringement. Fraud. Cease and desist. Look like you got under the mid skin, Mr. Blade Franco. But it's going to take a lot more than that for me to acknowledge your little stunt. I think you just did. You technically did. The moment has arrived. Grayson Waller is ready to defend his NXT championship against his toughest challenger yet, the WWE. Universal Champion. I, get, I knew it. I knew I was going to get attacked. It's Wesley. Well, he was supposed to be next in line to get a title. Wesley mattered to the motherfucker right now. It looks now. like he wasn't content <laughs> to just complain about it on social media. I think the title match could be off. Nah, don't call it off. I can still do. I can still go, Coach. I can still put me in the game, Coach. I can still do it. I can still do it. <laughs> they was like, Nah, you can't do it. I mean, I respect, I, I guess. But it makes sense for Wesley to attack me. It makes so much sense. I took full responsibility for what happened with the NXT Championship match getting derailed before he even got, before he even got started. I got caught up in the excitement and didn't consider the rest of the locker room, especially Wesley. 
Therefore, if the Universal Champion, oh wait, make sure to read all this. Therefore, before, if the Universal Champion wants a title shot, he will have to earn it just like everyone else. Next week on, on NXT, it will be Blade, Blade Franco versus Wesley. The winner will face Grayson Waller at NXT Battleground. I mean, honestly, that's fair. That's that that makes more sense. I shouldn't have to re-earn my opportunity, but beating Blade Franco will make my inevitable title win even sweeter. Hashtag justice for Wesley. We could have just talked this out, Wesley, but happy to sell it out this way too. Looking forward for for showing you firsthand why I belong in the NXT title picture. What the hell, Shawn Michaels? Does the NXT champion get a say in any of this? What about justice for Grayson? <laughs> Fine. You want to say, Grayson Waller, I'm making you a special guest referee in next week's match. Oh, why? Interesting. This man's going to cost me my shot, bro. I can already see it. All right, so since it's obvious he's going to cost me my shot, I'm going to have to beat the holy hell out of Wesley to where he has to count three. If not, I'm fucked. Any luck getting that uh, justice for Grayson hashtag trending? You should be more concerned with whatever stupidity Shawn Michaels is engaged in on social media. I mean, by the time he logs off and stops granting wishes, you could be in a battle royal next week. One on one, battle royal, it doesn't matter. Whatever it is, I'm going to get my title match against you. Fair enough. And just so you know, it wasn't a coincidence running into you here today. I wanted to talk to you about this whole special referee thing. Oh boy. What about it? Honestly, I don't care who wins the bloody match between you and Wesley. But if you're really trying to one-up Roman Reigns, we could help each other out. What are you getting at? Johnny Gargano has been my personal nuisance for years now. So if you go give Gargano a thumping, then maybe I'm not so impartial in your match against Wesley if you get my drift. What do you say? Ooh, okay. So, if I beat up on Gargano, he'll make sure to mat. He'll make sure I get a fair call down the middle. If I don't, he will. He'll he'll make it impartial into where it's going to be a headache to get through Grayson Waller. Hmm. I really want to just take that belt from Waller so badly right now. But at the same time, I don't want him to screw me out as he's the special guest referee. So, you know, screw it. I'll do it. I don't really have a problem with Gargano. But if it gives me an edge against Wes Lee, I'll do it. All right. Wasn't expecting the WWE Universal Champion to get his hands dirty, but here we are. Wes played dirty taking me out before our match. So I figure I can do the same thing. Nah, that's facts. <laughs> Good for you. As for Johnny Wrestling, he'll be training here at the PC later today. So that's your chance to strike. Understood. Sorry, Johnny. I need this. Careful with what you're doing in NXT. I heard heard throughout my GM channels that Miz might try to strip you of your Universal Championship if you don't return to SmackDown. That type of tough that type of stuff is exactly why I need to take a break from Miz and besides, what better way to prove I belong as a champion by doing what Roman can never do? It's been over a year since Roman left and you became champion. You've more than proven you belong. It might be time to move on from this and try to at least coexist with Miz. I appreciate the advice. But I know what I'm doing. I'll be fine. Okay. I will admit it is a little tricky to do so, but same time, I, I really want to want to try to be a double champion. Sorry, Gargano. It's just business. I feel like Gargano is going to interfere in the matchup. 
Like it won't even matter with Grayson Waller as ref. <laughs> No stick is never pleasant. Well, okay. I met Gargano's give me a fight. Give me a chair real fast. Like I said, Gargetto, no beef, but I gotta do this. Need my match to be down the middle. Oh, he reversed the finisher. All right, I respect it. Okay. you was going for you ain't catch me with it get your ass up and hit him with the 808 and that's how you break a heart I didn't like doing that to Gargano. I didn't, but I need to make sure Grayson doesn't screw me out of my chance. Normally we'll read all these, but I'm gonna skip this one here. Try to keep it moving. Oh yeah, I'm gonna get talked to. <laughs> Sean is very upset about your incident with Johnny Gargano. And frankly, so am I. I did what I had to do. Seriously? We rolled out the red carpet and you essentially spit on it. Is that all you have to say for yourself? Wesley jumped me before my last match, and now with Grayson Waller as the special ref, who knows what else Lee would try to pull. It might not have been pretty, but I had to strike first. You of all people should understand that. The wrestler part of me gets it. The management side, not so much. Just be ready to pay the consequences for your actions. Oh yeah, I'm pretty sure of it. <laughs> 
Probably wasn't the best idea, but screw it. Let's see what happens. Yep, I already called it. My boy is going to be right there in the middle of the match. So Grayson Wall is going to call it down the middle. But now I'm going to have Johnny Gargano trying to jump me. So let's let's see what comes out of that. <laughs> Here comes the NXT the champion Grayson Waller. Be changing his. It's our impartial referee, Grayson Waller. The following contest is a special referee match. Please welcome the special referee for this match, Grayson Waller. The dark horse might be looking for a little insurance from tonight's special guest referee, Grayson Waller. Might be. He attacked Waller's rival Johnny Gargano at the Performance Center. I think it's clear he's trying to get Waller in his pocket. Oh shit! Why is the mic doing? A fair and competitive match, despite how it's looking. Okay, honestly, I just know if my microphone been doing this the whole time. How do I fix this? Uh, here's an extremely impressive young high flyer. And the participants first from Dayton. Wesley didn't have what it takes to become a single superstar. Well, he proved it wrong by winning the NXT North American title and holding it longer than anyone else in history. All right, it should We've be better, hopefully. West fly, and now we know the sky is the limit. Okay, it sounds fine during the streams. I just know throughout my um headphones it sounds weird. That Wesley but has we no should be good, problem though. taking on all comers. Yeah, Lee will take any chance to show off and show out to soar through the skies. Wesley will take it. And I can't wait to see him compete. It's the journeyman who's now on a journey to greatness. Yeah, look at me coming out looking nice with the belt. Looking and good. his opponent from Hartford, Connecticut, weighing in at 200. In 45 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Mr. Blade Franco. I like the and sound of that announcement, but that, that announcement sounds He's just right. He's a Universal right. Champion who is quickly becoming universally beloved. More like universally overrated. The fans may adore him now, but let's see how long that love affair lasts. I swear, no matter where I go, Corey Graves just gotta hate, bro. Always just gotta hate. It's fine. It's cool. I appreciate it's the WWE Universal Champion's ambition here. He wants to prove a point to Roman Reigns by winning a title that Roman never had. However, if he were to fall short, it would be tremendously embarrassing. No doubt, Michael. And with NXT champion Grayson Waller out here as the special guest referee, this number one contender okay, match okay. becomes cover. Shoulders are down. Shoulders up. And give it to the referee. That was a standard pin count for sure. Got to commend our official. So I, mean, I haven't seen none of the um, guest referee like moments happen. Big so this is actually is, is pretty cool to see. I like that in my rise, you get to play around with all the new modes. So that way you get a feel of it if you don't hop into it already. Ah, uh, Fujiwara armbar applied. That arm's gonna be sore for a while. Could affect all their offense. Oh, and a kick. Both wrists captured. And Come on, Wes. You wanted to attack me for my match. Oh, what happened? Johnny Gargano yep, said to be watching this match closely. Johnny was gonna bring his ass out. 
He probably didn't take too kindly to being jumped by the Universal Champion at the PC. Lucifer's very nice. Hitting combination. And a kick out before the count yeah. even begins. Not enough pressure on the pin. And that was an efficient form of offense for that move. I mean, good luck. Good luck on Grayson. Oh, that can dislocate something. Good thing, good thing he didn't hear me say that. <laughs> Striking combination. Oh man, Just every down, single bro. one hitting the mark. Boom. Should have stayed down, bro. This got their opponent pinned down, and now he's struggling a bit here. Yeah, Cole, but at this point in the match, you still haven't lost the edge. Boom. Wait, what? How did he catch me? Able to interrupt the attack. Oh. Ooh, and he got kicked. That's exactly what was supposed to happen. Two, one, oh, he kicked out. Looks like our guest official is pretty good right. at this ref right. thing. And pay attention to the referee's ex. No. Oh, no. Oof. Crashing hard onto the floor. You have daring. And that you just have called stupid. for injury all the night. was almost. stupid. It was a daring decision that didn't provide the expected result. Yeah, stupid. Two. Wards off that offense from Wes. Ah, oh, face first what on up, the West? post. He's stopping brick. Look at this. Got their opponent oh. pinned down. Oh. Sorry about that, y'all. Let's get back into this map. Gets him with the counter. Six. Come on, Russ. I'll meet you back in the ring. Come on. Come on. He needs to find his way back. Position for Russ. Got your slip in. With that eight on the crowd. Wesley is in serious danger. And this one is over. Give me my shot, bro. These guys were awesome. Give me Let's my shot. Look. And I won fair and square, technically. Actually, yeah, technically I did. Here is your winner, Mr. Blaine Franco. The Dark Horse is on a roll. For now, Saxton, the WWE Universal title puts a target on his back every time he even enters an arena. Hey, they were just trying to keep them on their toes here. And guess what? They did. So it looks like a win-win to me. Yeah, more like a game plan backfiring, Corey. And that one is cause for closer. celebration. I'm one step closer, my boy. All right, y'all. Just give me a second. I'm going to come right back. i say I'm not turning off streaming. I'm just be right back. I got to do something real quick for the fam.
All right, y'all, we're back. We're back. We're back in place. All right, let's see here what we got. If Shawn Michaels and, N and NXT want to violate the law by letting Mr. Blake Franco challenge for the championship at NXT chip Battleground, fine. But to be clear, I have to file an injunction preventing the undisputed title from being on the line. Hmm. So it will not be a title versus title. I mean, that's fine. I technically wouldn't expect to lose anyway, but I mean, if Miz got to protect himself, I guess so. Whatever, Miz. We'll still have more eyes on our show. <laughs> so Blade Franco doesn't have to put his title on the line, but I do? This is ridiculous. Let's get let's get going again. <laughs> justice for, for Grayson. Grayson, I don't think you could ask for justice. You just asked me to take out somebody before a match. <laughs> I don't think it works that way, bro. <laughs> oh, and here's Troy punk ass. Uh, I guess they're letting anyone backstage these days. Actually, my pass allows me access to any brand shows. Wow, good for you. Here to watch me win the NXT championship? No, I'm here to deliver an important message. Miz and his team of high paid lawyers are putting the finishing touches on a legal motion to strip you of the WWE Universal Championship. Unless you drop this NXT thing and return to SmackDown immediately. If I decide to come back to SmackDown, it'll be you and your annoying boss's lucky day, as I'll be carrying two championships. I doubt that. And no matter what happens tonight, you're going to end up right where you started. Under Mrs. Thumb. You mean like you? I don't think. Okay. They really don't want me to be anywhere. Like Miz is like that, like that pathetic girlfriend who just can't stand the fact of you having fun and doing something for yourself. He just gotta be hawking over you every second, bro. But that's fine. That's fine. Miz can hawk over me all he wants. He's gonna be hawking over a double champion at the end of the day, but it's whatever. Hey Miz, Roman, hope you're checking out NXT Battleground tonight. Gonna be a banger. And I hope you got my message, Mr. Blake Franco. Break a leg. Seriously, an injury might actually help me strip you of your title even faster than the legal system. I have better things to do than to watch you cry out for my attention on Worldwide TV, Mr. Blake Franco. Okay, that's fine. I'm pretty sure y'all both gonna be watching, but that's fine. This is gonna be fun. <laughs> The second I win, I'm going to put the NXT title right on top of the world, the, the WB title, so that way both titles be right up front. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the NXT Championship. Here he is, the title holder, in search of adding an NXT size notch on his belt. Look at that champion. Just look at that, look at that, look at that, look at it. <laughs> Yo, I, I really wish I could just come out with like more music at the dark at the horse time. looks like a man confident. He's going to be walking out of here needing an extra belt hanger for his closet. Everyone walks in that way, whether they end up walking out having won a title or having lost their pants. Whoa, Corey. I don't think I want, want to know that, right? Fix that level in real fast. I admit it's kind of warm in my room. <laughs> it's the NXT champion hoping he can keep the title firmly within his grasp. It's still crazy to see that Grayson Waller is the NXT champion in this universe. I was more expecting Braun Breaker. I mean, it's Talking fine. Talking about pivotal moments in a career, this could be it for Grayson Waller. 
Knowing Waller and the amount of confidence he has, he'll be ready for this opportunity. Now we'll see if Grayson Waller can back up all his self-generated hype. I admit, as good of a wrestler Grayson Waller is, one thing I do have to say, I feel like his, his rolling stunner is the most overdone type of move. He has to run out of the ring to then dive back through the ropes in the ring to roll in and then stunner you. It feels a little, a little too extra. That belt about to be mine, bro. I'm about to be a double champion. Social media is buzzing, as it always is, when this title is defended. Champion versus champion. This is as big as it gets. By beating oh, okay. Grayson Waller tonight, I respect the man who was considered the dark horse of WWE can accomplish something that Roman Reigns never achieved. Grayson Waller doesn't care about any of that. Someone's coming to his house to try to take his title, and he's not going down without a huge fight. Chop! Boom! Oh, what an uppercut, Jordan. Come on, Grayson, show me that champion in spirit. Right in Come on now. Implanted by the DDT. Okay, okay. Clearly waiting for that. Oh, you lucky him. And he finds an answer for Waller. Face plant. And it looks Good like Waller's bleeding out for that. Saw that one coming. Sight set on the top rope. Soaring. Ah, you you had him. And slam down. Ooh, the mass Titans just knocked somebody. I am not exaggerating when I say careers have been ended by less. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Boom, what an elbow. What up, Grayson? Makes him pay. Sharp elbow to the gut turns that one around. Driving the face down. Any more hits in that area could leave him dizzy. Oh, we anticipated that. That was a nice combo. Oh, just scrubbing the face on the canvas. And an elbow drop for added measure. Cut off with a kick to the gut. Shot to the chest. Rocket kick. Wow. Taking a moment to let the crowd know how much he appreciates them. A drop kick of the oh, corner. Yeah, always the crowd. executed. And Grayson gets that turn back on him. Northern Lights suplex rolls through oh. what's coming next. Oh, that's oh my God. The end of the brain buster. And if you take one too many of those, we know how this match is going to turn out. That was nasty. The champ in a worst case scenario. He needs to get himself some room to regroup fast. Come on, Grayson. Let me show you the Blade Franco effect. Spinebuster. Uh, spine mm -mm. Looking for the victory. Two, three. No, he kicked Ooh. out. Are you kidding me? It was almost me? a wrap. It was almost a wrap. And I think now we just might see. 
Hit him with that. Oh, geez, a the cranium. The title's in jeopardy here. I think the paradigm has shifted. Kick out, kick out. The champion stays alive. Okay. I knew it would take. I got a second one for you. Get out of that one. And get after it. Here are the highlights. Like I said, at the end of it all, I was gonna hold both of these belts. Now let me let me let me let me let me give you something over here. Yeah, stack them up nice. Here is your winner and the new NXT champion. champion has accomplished defeat that Roman Reigns oh I just realized something I was wondering why I kept hearing him in the background he shouldn't even be in NXT this guy's a wall and I have it on good authority that the Miz's legal action is moving forward okay well I finally figured out something I didn't I didn't realize this whole time my second monitor speaker was on so didn't even notice the background sound on it until just now okay now that I know that that fixes one of the problems. But now look at this. Your boy double champ out right now. And the funniest part, I have both of the belts that I, that I have in the universe. You can't tell me that's not a good coincidence. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, oh. I'm going to go ahead and put this here. And then now let me put this here. Gorgeous. It's just gorgeous. I feel good, baby. Double champion, baby. Amazing. The Universal Champion, Blade Frankel, is now your NXT champion after defeating Grayson Waller at Battlefield. Battleground. I don't know why I said Battlefield. Battlefield is on my head. I don't play it much, but it's a good game. Congrats, Mr. Blade Franco, on winning the same title that KO, Seth, Finn, and a bunch of other guys held, who I who I then beat during the longest Universal Championship run there will ever be. Bro, you can try to downplay this all you want. I have a belt you don't have, and I'm holding your belt at that. Look at that, that aura, you don't got that. Oh, now let's see what Waller got to say about it. <laughs> hey, good match out there. Don't you good match me? You wouldn't even have gotten a title opportunity if I hadn't helped you beat Wesley. We made a deal to work together for that one match. Whatever happened after that, was fair game. Facts. Well, speaking of fair, I've already gone to Shawn Michaels and petitioned for a rematch. And due to the millions of people who joined the Justice for Grayson movement over the past few weeks, he agreed to give me one next week on NXT. All right, that's fine. Not quite sure I buy the reasoning behind all that, but either way, I'm happy to face you again. This time, we're going to see if you can really hang with me because it's going to be an Iron Man match. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Iron Man match for both belts. Well, for one of the belts, because I can't put the other one on the line or Miz is going to whoop my ass. But yeah, let's do it. Fine with me. More chances to beat you, mate. I mean, Grayson Waller was pretty easy to beat. I'm not even going to lie. So it's like putting an Iron Man match. I don't think that's a good idea for what I could easily do. It's official. Next week on NXT, Blade Franco will defend his newly won NXT championship against Grayson Waller in the Iron Man match. <laughs> Hashtag Justin for Grayson will prevail. I warned you repeatedly, Mr. Blade Franco and Shawn Michaels, and you continue to ignore both my personal and legal pensions. There will be consequences soon. Miz really, really just can't seem to just chill the fuck out, bro. Relax. 
the belt is coming right back to the blue brand plus i'm bringing a second one so you got two belts on the blue brand what you are you so mad about this is an iron man match and is for the nxt championship my boy just gotta be mad but it's all right it's all right Just had to see if I could fix something in Grayson settings real Waller fast. There we go. Should be effect. Gucci. You think he could maybe Turn dial down it down? Just to time. There you go. That that should be good for the levels. Grayson Waller has no respect for tradition and basically wants to dismantle the old guard of NXT. I fail to see the problem, Saxton. You better respect Waller because he's the future of NXT and WWE. Like him or hate him, Waller can do some amazing things in the ring, and I can't wait to see it. Oh, no, I agree. Grayson Waller is very talented in the ring. Very talented. And I really hope he goes far now that he's one half of the newly won SmackDown Tag Team Champions, the man who's which, by the way, through w yo, that WWE. world title, bro, it's, I'm like 75-25 on it. I'm, I, I fucks with it, but at the same time, it just, it doesn't look right. Hold on, I it just, I gotta copy my boy real fast. Yeah. <laughs> Hold up, get this comfortable. There we go. I, I think this looks right. Who is now etched in the yeah, annals this looks of right. WWE <laughs> history. This is inspiration personified. Sure, but he better be careful. Or he might find out what happens when an underdog becomes overrated. It usually doesn't end well for them. The dark horse is now the winning horse all day. Let's go ahead and put my belts back. I'm having too much fun with this, honestly. Honestly, it's just I'm I'm just having fun here on stream at this point. I'm trying to make it a little worthy to watch because you know you got to when you want to do something like this. At the end of the day, I'm someone who definitely agrees. Have fun when you're streaming. Don't worry about what you're gonna get out of it. Who big viewers are. If people fuck with you, they fuck with you. If they don't, the fuck it. Just have fun. <laughs> I'm gonna hold this for this match because this match only this belt is on the line. I can't put that on the line and this gonna kill me. You can see it in everyone's eyes. They all want this championship. Despite clouds Let's of legal controversy belt, hanging bro. over it, here we go with this Iron Man rematch for the NXT Championship. If Grayson Waller can take care of business in the ring, then all the legal stuff goes away, and the WWE Universal Champion will head Honestly, back I'm not worried. I see this as an easy victory. You have to wonder if it's a bit of a distraction for the defending champion. He can't afford to take his eye off the ball in a match like this. Devastating kick. Very measured elbow drop. I'm very confident, like, we're going to see a lot of, like, dirty tactics made between no um, Grayson Waller and Sequence of reversals Austin, here. Both Austin superstars Austin clearly studied game tape ahead of time. Oh, yo, since the, the, since the new Raw Bell showed up, oh, yeah, the world, the world tag team titles. There. I can admit, like everyone else, it looks no, like a small version the of the world title that they already have. So, I like, understand branding-wise why they did it. How he can't get more than a one count at the same time, it's like... I mean, we could only get what we could get. 
I, I would want the bows to look a little better, get its own separate score. look, but you don't, you don't get, oh get what you can rock with. And I mean, at the end of the day, they're not bad looking. Exhibiting guts and don't get me wrong, they look pretty well. cheap, they basic looking, but they're not that bad there. looking, honestly. I really wish they would learn to just go back to the old design styles of like the old, the old um, world tag team titles. The, the older tag team titles, before the penny belts, they look so much better. Even even the ones just before the penny belts that, that, that they came out with was, was still a better uh, looking belt. Nevertheless, at least it's different. To me, they look better. And I definitely say like we, we can we can make them work. Now, since we know that Raw and SmackDown are deciding to finally change their belt designs, now I'm waiting to see what SmackDown uh -oh. tag titles, aka what's going to be the WWE tag team champions, are going to look like. Still got a ways to go, but I just you don't hope that they don't look like copy and paste like how the world titles do. Sequence but I'm pretty confident there. they're going to. Look at this. Oh, and a backbreaker. Right to the spine. The fans are feeling the grace and water of But I do say, I did, right, I did like the idea the of what they did with um, splitting the belts. Uh, I was always right somebody feeling like they should have been split the belts because having into both belts just Face for one first. set of, for one team felt a little bit extra. And a vicious kick to the arm. And it felt extra for the fact that he was holding the both of the belts. Making it clear that they was not trying to come up with a design to where you could just hold one belt and two of them. Because I know after a while that has to be annoying for any champion. Because you have to hold two belts and they're only tag team belts. Dodges. Oh my god. Oh, twist to the arm. And then an elbow right okay. to the shoulder. Grayson now is a leg up in this match. You can't expect Grayson any safety from here. Waller wasting no motion on the counter. Reversals, reversals, and more reversals. Boom! Oh, face yeah, first. I abused the shit out of the little Jimmy Moore. Continuing move. to work on the arm. It's, it's a really good face buster. It's perfect. You catch Already somebody well out of the way. It's a good move. Getting him into the corner. Oh! Look at all these boots to the face. Make a run for it. Run. Oh! Oh! Just crossed the first Straight quarter of our time limit, and we are deadlocked. Each competitor still trying to dictate the pace. Into a backbreaker. Fantastic. A steady stream of moves taking out Waller. But Grayson can't oh, well. let this flourish. That's up the Derail him. A good old spot. Is it up? The cover! Uh, barely kicks out. Mm -hmm. Now is not I the time to wall in disbelief. Mm -hmm. Pressure mm -hmm. must be kept off. Moving quickly here, and neither competitor has found that first fall yet. Oh, strong oh. impact. Oh. Shot to the chest. Jenny Grayson up. When you return the favor with an 808. Will the rain mm. continue? Two. An early fall for the first fall. champion. First fall already. I tell you, this is going to be easy. Can't quite get him there. Oh, this could do it. Now, I will admit, Grayson Waller's finisher is out. difficult to like reverse. So, Connects the if I let him, if I let him even get a slight chance, there is a possibility. Oh, that was it. Mouthful of boot. I didn't think he was going to do that in the ring. I thought he was going to do the whole run out of the ring. Okay, I call him. The sound of this crowd is deafening, and he's asking for more. Oh, he knew what was coming. Ooh. And there's the cover. I would say Grayson could definitely throw hands. I think they, I think he said he used to be a boxer. I can't before. believe it. He just won't go away. Which will make sense for his outfit. Walking the ropes. That one fails to I stay in the elbow, bro. The mark. I don't want to do that to me. With their head. It's the target. I will say the only thing I probably like, I like and don't like is the little heat seeking action with the diving moves. Oh, that's the Irish curse. Like, when, like no matter what they do, they just dive through everything. This could do it. 
champion gets a fall. All right, that's the first pinfall since my playthrough of this game. That was not that was not through a signature or finisher. Waller knew that was coming. Big boot, vicious. Oh, just scrubbing the face on the canvas. Oh, the elbow okay. drop for added measure. Waller got got to figure out something to do here. I'm already two and zero on the man. Counters that. Stops off the JBL for that close on can help. Ooh, caught with a knee to the much. Oh man, he's going for the right, That's a call the STO. That's cool. He breaks the refs count after one. Right now, I just don't know what it's gonna take. Debilitating attack on the leg. Get up, get up, get up, get up. From the top. Crash landing. Cocaine and clutch. Locked in. The submission is in. Oh, no way he escapes the clutch. No way, but wait. He is. Look, he if the Cocaine clutch is not put on by Samoa Joe, no oh, one knows how to pull that off correctly. Is it enough? If that's just facts. If Joe doesn't do it, no one else Kick is going to be able to fight continues. How? How? Setting up for something massive. Him with that glorious H box. The champions need to finish the job. There's no way my boy, there's no way my boy just kicked out of a super. The super is supposed to be the one thing you can't kick out of. It's okay. to give okay. everything you got. I don't know how much. Arm ball locked in. Going right after the arm. Is their opponent gonna tap? He is in deep yeah, trouble. Lay down that body part Could be guys. down a fall if he can't hang on. Yeah, I don't see him getting out. Breaks the hole, but hey, damage has hey. been done. Looking hey, worse for wear something. in the corner now. He got lucky so far. Face first into the turnbuckle. Ooh. And a vicious kick to the arm. Oh, and a wicked clothesline. Come on. Flying. Big shot in the face. Nothing wrong with a simple axe handle. And that was a well targeted attack. Fisherman neck breaker. Yeah, fisherman's, I don't know why. I just love them. Two fisherman count. busters, fisherman suit jacks, fisherman neck ball. breakers. I, I feel like the simple extra leverage is, is all you need for any move. Any move oh, the and even more punishment directed right at Grayson. Grayson could be in peril. Measured elbow Come on, Grayson. Drop, I, I, I pinned you twice with moves that aren't even in my signature or finisher. Do something. Wait to steer clear. Grayson Waller. Oh, I'm excellent. <laughs> the eyes were glazed over. Man, my goal is to not get one fall on me. I'm trying to end this out. The champion away, and that's shut up. being proven right now. More like the champions proving that sooner perish than lose their title. I can't tell if it's anger in the eyes of the fact that he hasn't finished this, or if it's disbelief that his opponent is still in this. Big back body drop. Oh, look at the well placed elbow right on the mark. He's got him in the crosshairs. While, while, while he's stepping up now, he's trying to get, trying to see if he can make a no! short comeback. Oh God, that, that, that's a bad landing. Well, he My kissed it. Goodness, good. I think the I outside. heard something break that's on that crash landing. <laughs> Boom! Good night. What a knee. And he slides him back to the mat. A little thunder roll. And what a maneuver we just saw there. 
And he has mm -hmm. to start protecting himself from attacks to that area. Oh, God, boom. Oh, oh. Ouch. No, no, no. Oh, he is really oh, using his corner. And this is just really a vulgar display corner. of ruthlessness. Oh. oh, look at this ruthlessness in the bottom turnbuckle. Come on, Wally. You got less than four minutes. And that's going to jam Grayson's offense. Big forearm. And only a quarter of this match left to go. We're getting into deeper waters, and it looks like someone is pulling away from the pack. Maintaining their aggression will be their I'm best strategy now. Stop. Right, you want to roll out? That's fine. Look out! Let me meet you Slingshot up. Slingshot cross body? That was ridiculous. Toss caution out the window, and it paid off. Adrenaline is through the roof now. Ow! Boom! Yeah. I, I'm going to wait for you to come back in the room. The WWE Universe is here. pouring more fuel on his fire right now. I don't know if this is a show of confidence or a wasted opportunity to attack your opponent. Came back in just to get a boot to the mouth. Come on. The challenger scores a late fall. Waller, you ain't doing so well. It's 4 0 right now. I don't think you want that. Uh oh. Half and half suplex. Lights up. Grayson now undertaking a barrage. Grayson has to start volleying back somehow. That's something that can further crumble Grayson. No doubt about it. It is do or die for Waller at this point. See, this is why I say I got to play on Legend. Because it's like, it feels too easy at times. Retaliation right now, I've been playing on Legend. And Waller puts too a quick stop to the momentum. That Ooh. was mounting against okay. him. Brief sign of adrenaline from Grayson. And you heard that the nice collective move, gasp honestly. in the arena nice. after the offense from Waller. Grayson Waller. Grayson Waller. Oh, nice bowling thunderstorm. Oh, Gonna see a new champ. There's two. He stays nope. alive. He stays alive. Based on what we've just saw, I think this match here. is far from over. Who knows I'm, what that kick out I'm cost. The champ might be running on fumes. Throwing everything in the kitchen sink in there, but to no avail. Oh, my God. Like rock in less than a tenth of this match left to go. It's been nothing but an exhausting battle. This match might be all but over. Oh, I it's haven't done, haven't done this in a while. Oh, to overpack and four, three, go. Hits him with the counter. And one more. Okay, I gotta do better on my timing. I admit, I gotta do better on my timing. Back and forth. I don't do him as much. You've seen him. This is Keep the first time down. in my rise. Alexa, turn on lights. Blast off. Okay, fine. He can get one pinfall. One. Stop, stop, stop. I wanted this to be four nil, but that, that, that's fine. It's whatever. Don't turn your back on me. Man, another one bites the dust to the champ. Got the shoulder off. Ooh, that twisted deflection. How did the challenger survive that? by the skin of their teeth. And don't expect the champ to start going easy on him now. Everything possible was done to win there, but it just fell short. Grayson Waller, Grayson Waller. Oh, just snuck out of nowhere with that one. Okay. Can I see a new champ? Two, amazing. Nope. This is complete Like I said, you, only get, you got that one by luck. I ain't letting you get another one. Got it. And the champ adds to their legacy. Let's take one more look at what made this Iron Man match so entertaining. 4-1 Iron Man match. I'll take it. I'll take it. A 4-1 Iron Man match. I'll take it. Here is your winner. Hold up one of them right now. Mr. Blade Inconceivable. How does this guy keep beating Mine. the odds? I don't believe it. It's like, like Muscle Champa when you hold the belt. This is mine. Corey. 
<laughs> Statement made. He wants everyone to know this is his title. This, this, this is my title. This, this very much is. Uh -huh. There we go. Keep them, keep them aligned just right. I respect that they keep showing Asuka's like reign because she truly had the longest reign. I feel like somebody not under contract currently has the longest reign as the world champion, which is why they show Asuka the women's champion. But like I said, I have no problem with the women's champion. Oh, you sons of bitches. <laughs> you bastard, you bastard. Instead of them. Instead of celebrating an amazing Iron Man match, I regret to break the news that due to legal action, the match results is non invoid. It's pretty much same wording. Mr. Blake Franco must relinquish the NXT Championship and return to SmackDown immediately. You know, it was fun. It was fun while it lasted. I accomplished my goal of being a double champion. I accomplished winning the NXT title while being a universal champion. So, you know, I'm happy with it. Let me go ahead and hang this back up. Well, I'm still happy for the fact my guy got to go to NXT. He got to accomplish something in NXT. And it felt it felt right. It just felt right. No decision has been made yet on how to handle the NXT championship. I assume the title will return to the rightful owner, aka me. Hashtag Justin for Grayson. Grayson, I beat your ass twice for the belt. I'm pretty sure that's gonna go into some type of like tournament or something. There's no way they're gonna just hand it back to you. Don't lose your smile again, Shawn Michaels. I warned you repeatedly you didn't listen, but at least my champion came in, beat your top guy, and left your promotion in chaos. Almost like I planned it that way from the start. Miz, you did not plan that from the start. I did my own chaos. You just sat back and watched him, bitch. That's all you ever did. <laughs> Johnny Gargano just saw the news about Blade Franco getting stripped of the NXT Championship. So unfortunate to see this happen to such a good guy. <laughs> I'm not even mad at you, Gargano. It was no, I'm not even mad at you. That I, I respect it. <laughs> All right. Let's 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 see here on let's see let's see what I gotta do from here. Justine. So is it true? Was it your plan all along to come down here and damage the NXT brand? You really were better off when you weren't paying attention to all the nonsense on social media, especially when it's coming from the likes of The Miz. Well, true or not, it is what ended up happening. You showed up, made some of our top superstars look bad, and then got management tied up in a legal mess. So, thanks? I don't know what to tell Sorry, you. Sorry, it was That never was never my intention. intention. Miz is hell-bent on ruining my career. <laughs> Maybe, but I don't think this one is on Miz. Next time your obsession with Roman Reigns tells you to come to NXT, don't. Fine, fine. If I come down to NXT on my own again, I'm making sure I come down, win the NXT championship again, and hold, and hold that bitch till I beat the record of the last longest reign title holder without causing chaos. Unless it's me on the roster causing the chaos. <laughs> All right, what you want? You want to explain what I just read on social media? There's nothing to explain. It's all cut and dry if you had read any of the legal documents we served you the past few weeks. I'm going to get this overturned. Too late for that. Besides, there's no need to be upset. You did such a great job here as a representative of Miz and SmackDown. In case you forgot, I came here to get away from you and Miz. I wasn't representing anyone but myself. Maybe that was your intention, but in the end, your little act of rebellion actually worked in our favor. Our viewer retention and social media engagement has been off the charts. So nice work. 
See you back at SmackDown, champ. Let me get a match with Troy, please. If I can't beat the Miz ass, put Troy in the ring one time. Just one time. Come on. Oh, I hate Troy so much. Breaking. As first by Shawn Michaels, Blade Franco will relinquish the NXT Championship and return to SmackDown this week. The Dark Horse run with the NXT title was one of one for the history books. What was that? Like 14 days? Fuck you, Roman. <laughs> now just last another couple of years with the WWE Universal title, you'll start to sniff the only record that matters in WWE. Alright, it's whatever. It's whatever. At least I accomplished my goal, damn it. So now I got I can have under my ranks NXT champion. Plus, I'll leave in the asterisk the fact that I was stripped of it by legal action. Not because I lost it, not because of injury. Legal action. <laughs> Alright, so it looks like we're now back to the challenge matches and the side stories. Okay, okay. Alright, first things first, let's go ahead and up one of these. Mm. I'm gonna up the grapples one more time. I'm already doing really good, so I don't see much problems. Okay, so let's see here. I got I got two things lined up story like for optional stories. Okay. Nice. So we're gonna play a few of these and then we're gonna go I ahead and close up the stream for tonight. I just got a new 24 to 70 f 2.8 lens, so obviously I'm pretty fired up. I can't wait to try it out. Maybe you can help. Noam Dar says since he's still basically on Scotland time, he can come in one morning so I can shoot a match if I can find him an opponent. I know it'd be early, but feel like getting in a morning workout. You know, why not? Let's get let's get a nice early morning workout. Plus, it'll help out my submissions, which is perfect. <laughs> God damn. All right, I don't know if that. I don't know if the pain retention is supposed to come from the fact of the Iron Man match, but I, I do understand it if it is. Now, Norm Dar and the metaphor, I like them. They're a very good act, honestly. I will say I'm a big fan of Lash Legend. Like, Lash Legend is, is talent. Just straight talent, bro. Admittedly, I don't really care for her partner. Her partner is so so. And um who who's who's the right who who's the other guy in metaphor? Mesa. I, I can't remember his name. He's alright, but I hate to say it. Him just like um the other girl in metaphor is very forgettable, honestly. And metaphor for some reason I, I I feel like I only care about Noam Dar and I and Last Legend. But I will admit, Last Legend really did make me a big fan after watching how she was in the Iron Survivor women's match. I actually was hoping for her to win. She literally almost won that match. And shit, I would have loved to see something happen with her like going for the title. That's why I thought it was pretty cool when she had that night in NXT where she she had a match earlier in the night, won it in phenomenal fashion, and then came out later on in the night to then challenge for the NXT Women's Championship in an open challenge match, which she looked impressive in, not nonetheless. So that's what I'm saying. I got real hope that Last Legend is going to be pushed very well. As long as she keeps doing her thing, we're going to see a lot more Legend. As for Norm Dar, I don't know what more you could do with Norm Dar, but I do want to see what they could come up with. Right now, I feel like if anything, Norm Dar should probably either go for the Heritage Cup one last time, or he should go for the NXT North American Championship. 
I mean, granted, he he has won the the, the Heritage Cup like twice, twice I believe this time. So I think yeah, I think it's time to freshen him up and and throw him into that that NXT North American scene. Come on, get up, bruh. Okay, I, I, I was late on that one. does he got here oh I didn't know he did a running kick oh okay okay come on Noah said before but I'll say it again Arn Anderson the best man to ever do the spine buster like because of him I I would love to make that part of my arsenal bro like the spine buster is is a, is, is a nice simple but effective move nonetheless and it's not something you could really see overdone just perfect it Let's throw on our challenge match before we start hopping into the side stories. Hey, missed you when you were down in NXT. Most of us were thrilled you were there. Others, like Bronson Reed, think it's embarrassing how you ran away from SmackDown. His words. Now he's saying he wants to take you on in a match with no running. But that also could be because he's lazy. Anyway, feel like running circles around him? Metaphorically, anyway. Why you sound so awkward to ask me that, though? But sure, why not? So the challenge is I can't do no running moves. So I can't hit him with a yop kick. Fuck it. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's look at Big Bronson Reed entrance. I haven't got a chance to look Here at Reed in the, the game. 330 pounder. Bronson Reed. The following contest. Is scheduled for Bronson one looks good. He Making looks his way good. to the ring from Black Forest, South Australia, weighing in at 330 pounds. Bronson Reed, the kaiju of WWE, Big Bronson Reed. He has been on an absolute tear as of late. We've seen him beat some big names, compete in some major matches. I think it's just a matter of time before Bronson really hits it big. Gentlemen, Big Bronson Reed is ready to claw through the competition. And I don't think anyone can stop him. I will say Bronson Reed has been very convincing since he came back to WB. I'm I I've definitely said that this is one of the best like rehires uh Triple H has did out of all the rehires. It's a I'm not saying the who best best be denied, but one of the best. electrifies the WWE universe. All right, we see my interest a million times. We're gonna go ahead and skip it on this one. And his... Tonight's speed is taboo as these two square off in a rarely seen no running match. I'm excited. This kind of stipulation can lead to more deliberate and calculated moves in the ring. Oh yes, deliberate and calculated. The two words that get every fan's heart racing. Dragon Strike. I admit I feel I already feel a little Smart difficult move, not running because I usually start the match running like this. So. I can't run in this match. It's going to be a little bit of a nuisance. He's got the answer for that one. 
Connecting on the DDT. I mean, that's fine, though. Like I said, my guy's a technical guy, so it, it kind of doesn't really hurt uh, the, the match. A well-timed dodge. Nice takedown. Reed holds him off. I feel like I'm still doing Set running moves. Oh, no, I'm not supposed to run. He's getting a little batter now. No need to panic. He's still swinging. Heavy yeah. forearm rocks their Come opponent. On, looking to bring them back in the hard way. Slingshot suplex. I can't believe it. Somehow able to find the left. Now that's a nice combination. And also. Reed is now in a demoralizing spot. Yeah, some flaws in Reed's game plan are being exposed. Oh, that can rock you. Perhaps thinking about what to do next here. Fighting free nope. there. That nope. can be all the space nope. that is needed. Drawing European uppercut. Stretch out that arm real fast. Ah, put you our arm bar applied. Trying to fight with a hurt arm is no easy task. <laughs> that gets reversed on Reed. He is still in this measured elbow drop driven down and now Reed is under immense pressure. Yeah, Reed's defensive Maybe not, maybe oh, not Good thing I didn't The count was stopped before it started Shrugging off the pin like it's nothing and after this match is already gone for so No signs of either combatant backing down and that was an efficient display of offense for that maneuver Slugging away with everything they've got Getting better at this. Great wherewithal on the counter. They say I was perfect. Defenses are sharp in this series of reversals. Shit. Okay, I feel like I'm going to work on it. No, no. Got no, no, no. Reciprocating the initial reversal. Okay. Oh, man, he yeah. has fired up now. I still got to practice on that. Held in a perilous position. Oh, man. It could change the course of the match. No, no, I know what's going to happen. I'm not letting you do that. The DQ, DQ, DQ. You hit the, you hit the female ref, you bastard. And both athletes showing that they have each other's number. These two training counters, an absolute master class. I so hate I can't run because, oh my god. Bronson rising to his possible demise. Counters this could be an opportunity. My submission. Quick exchange, reversing the reversal. At this point, we just been reversing each other's finishes. Respect that. He's got their opponent pinned down, and now he's expressing pain now. Yeah, this is a dire situation right now. Ooh. Come on, oh, Reed. You've gotten this far now. Come on, Reed. Crank in the head. Very measured elbow drop. And he's already taken more hits up there than he should have to handle. Boom! Perfect. That's how you know it's a good victory when These you beat somebody with a DDT. Here's another look. Quality. That, and remember, the DDT used to be known as a straight finisher. So, a little historical fact. One of the few moves that used to be known as a straight finisher before it became more of a norm move for people to get hit with. Here is your winner, Mr. Blade. 
Inconceivable. How does this guy keep beating the odds? I don't believe it. It sounds like he had money on his opponents or something. Start believing, Corey. I'm in shock, honestly. Big Bronson Reed usually looks so unstoppable. You can't stop me, bruh. I can't, after an epic run I just did on NXT, and I'm still over a year in game of being a universal champion, you can't stop me, bruh. Nice. Definitely leveling up. All right, let's let's get my strikes up a little bit. Okay, so we got the King of the Ring tournament. We got Jay Gargano wanting to run a match. You know what? All right, we're gonna make this the last one for right now for tonight. And then, of course, I'll be back on Thursday to continue the stream series. So we're going to go ahead and run with Johnny Gargano's one to let him, let him run it back. Blade Frankel, when it comes to NXT, you forgot to pack one important thing. Respect. NXT isn't anyone's stepping stone. Never viewed it as a stepping stone, Johnny Gargano. Just somewhere I wanted to try some space and help myself in the brand. Seemed like a win-win. Oh, come on, y'all. I don't know. I don't know what else he was saying. Sure, but let me go back and read this first. I'm in it regardless. Help the brand out by gracing us with your. Oh, 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 God damn! I'm a terrible reader. By gracing us with your overhyped presence. Let's be honest. You only cared about the NXT title because Roman Reigns never had it. In game, yes, but in real life, I really would want the NXT title. <laughs> it's Shinsuke throwing the one up. <laughs> what is what is with you NXT guys acting like it's the greatest place ever, and not just a gym in Orlando? Put on and put on an NXT hoodie, and suddenly you think you you sweat your sweat don't stink. The fact that you don't get it, sad man. What's sad, Johnny Gargano, is the way you copy basically everything I've ever done and then act like somehow you makes you the leader of the NXT Musketeers. Get over yourself. I expect that type of comment from someone like Mr. Blade Frankel who doesn't know any better. But Sami Zayn? Maybe you need to come back down here so I can get you in the ring and remind you what NXT is so special. I want in too. Ooh, so I'm guessing this is going to be like a Fatal 4-Way type thing? Fine. Mr. Blade Franco, you feel like heading back to NXT to shut up both both these fanatics once and for all? Me and Sammy against Shinsuke and Johnny annoying? I'm in. Ooh, I kind of like that. A tag team match. Okay, I'm with it. I mean, I'm not going to say I'm not a fan of tag team matches. Real life, I love watching tag team matches, especially they're done with good teams. In game, I personally don't really like doing too much tag team matches, but we're, we're gonna go ahead and have some fun with this. The king of strong style, ready to deliver big hits. Oh yeah, I haven't seen how she's gonna look in the game yet. That's the only way he knows how. Like always, Shinsuke looks good, bro. Always looks good, bro. Team match scheduled for one fall. Introducing first from Kyoto, Japan, weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura. We are taking in the totally unique style and attitude of Shinsuke Nakamura. A man who does what he wants, who lives his life his way. Doesn't hesitate to punish those who cross his path. 
Well, don't come between Shinsuke and his goals. Simple as that. It's like it's, it, it's like you can hate Shinsuke, you know, because of what he's been doing lately. Well, as of late, before it all slowed down, but it's like it's hard to hate Shinsuke sometimes. I personally think. Well, this version of Shinsuke Nakamura has become more villainous and more nefarious. Well, Shinsuke has finally become the main event star we knew he would be. Okay, okay. I like the little change up at his entrance a bit too and everything. They didn't 100% keep his older one, so I'm, I'm happy with that. They're I like that. Feet for Johnny Wrestling and his partner representing DIY from Cleveland, Ohio, weighing in at 199 pounds. Johnny Gargano! Johnny Wrestling, perhaps the most beloved competitor in NXT history. Yeah, but Johnny Gargano has also made an immediate impact in the WWE and has an even brighter future than ever. I will admit, I am a, a, a big fan of Johnny Gargano. I especially definitely been a big fan of his run in NXT. I, special I personally happens. do feel like Whenever he is Mr. The NXT. Well, he's ready to make it. magic once again for the WWE Universe. He's done it all. He's done all you could do in NXT. And not only that, his matches at, at all the NXT takeovers, always phenomenal, bro. Always. That's something I wish they would do. I wish they would go back to calling their, their PLEs takeovers. Because I felt like that, that, that name of takeover put a great effect on NXT's name. Canada, weighing in at 212 pounds. Sammy Zayn! Over the years, we have watched Sami Zayn transform from perennial underdog to a true main event player. He always had all the tools, but now he is really living up to his potential. I'm really wondering too, like, how soon are we gonna get get world champion Sami Zayn? Like, I don't know how they'll do it, but I I, I kind of want to see it, bro. I I, I fell in love with believing it when he almost beat Roman. For Sami Zayn. When what's next is a return to NXT, it's your WWE Universal Champion. This is me sneaking or sneaking away from Miz for a one-off. From Hartford, Connecticut, weighing in at 245 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, Mr. It's never clear whether the Dark Horse is here on NXT because of respect for the brand or because he thinks he's somehow doing the brand a favor. I think his opponents tonight have the same exact question. Look, personally, I'm coming down for the respect of NXT. I've done what I need to do. I'm not here to cause terror. I'm just here for the love of the game and to beat down some NXT alumni with an NXT alumni. As this cross-brand clash begins, the true prize on the line isn't a title, but the no, reputation of right NXT now. itself. For some of these superstars, their brand is like their family, and you can't let someone disrespect family. Yeah, people are always going to defend something fiercely when it's all they've got going for them. Go oh, right to the kidneys. Oh, no, no, that might have just broken something. Northern Lights suplex, perfectly executed, brain buster. And from the example you just saw, there is no good landing to a brain buster. And that looks like it shook Shinsuke's foundation a bit. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. Oh, an exploder suplex into the corner. Saw that coming, well-placed kick. He oh. is delivering elbow after elbow. Oh, 
back in the corner. Thank you. Tag is made. Get a little tag team action with Sami Zayn. Flying shoulder nice. block. Teamwork making the dream work right here with that display. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Now that'll do. He could pin his opponent right here. And a kick out at two. Hey, what's that red X on my person? Up high. Oh, look at what, is there a negative effect for me trying to come in and, like, and you know, make sure my partner's okay? Impeded on there. And yeah, it's about time to heavily consider tagging in that partner. Yeah, he really should. Right and now, it's just getting good. If you're on the receiving end of that move, you got to be rethinking a few things. That is, if you can think at all right now. Setting up. Suplex. Momentum fully shifted to Sammy. Yeah, Zane's appearing unstoppable. Getting up, but doesn't have a clue what's coming at him. Up high. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Plucked out of the air. Oh, Bitch. that was just malicious. Right to the back of the neck. Close fist connects. Oh, costly error there. Sammy Zayn retaliates. Good job, Sammy. Just stay on top of breath. Beautiful athleticism. Sharp elbows to the body, looking to fight his don't, way don't out. Don't let him tag out. Don't let him tag out. And to the corner. Tag made, double team action now. Oh, yeah. here's the cover for the win. Kick out. Good. Ooh, that was almost Scarily it, bro. That three. was almost it. Oh, ouch. Very measured elbow drop. Seeing an answer for every move attempted. Face Buster. That did not look good, and Shinsuke Ooh. has started to bleed. He had to make that Tag jump. Made. Tag made. Oh, side coming. What's up, Johnny? Whoa! A slip shot. Come on, Johnny. T3 respect of NXT. Absolutely throwing all caution no, to Mr. win. NXT. Spitting in the face of danger. Nope. Let's lighten up the chest. And gets tossed back into the mat. Watch out. Suicide dive. That's finding yeah, any throw which me back way in, to topple right the competition. Back Curling your own body like that is insane. Oh. And he gets set back into the ring. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. And Gargano's failing to make any advances. Johnny's got to start reversing his fortunes. Oh, just gets Come on. Their head off. I might have to change that heavy kick. For some reason, it's like, and it takes too long to do it. Ooh, what you thought you was doing, Shinsuke? Both wrists captured and... Nakamura, so elusive. No, the the defensive elbow the gun him. ends that. And you know what's next, guys? God, I only arrange your skull. Nakamura could be conquered. Out on the apron. Oh, this is going to be bad. This is going to be really bad. Nasty. The hardest part of the ring. Not exactly an inspiring look. Johnny after that. Zane, the master strategist that's, with a master that's, stroke. That's gotta be it. Good officiating there. Referee seeing him the ropes and breaking Ref, the Are you serious? Just cranking the head. Hope you boys put your running shoes on. It might be time to clear out. DDT. Kneeling. Blue Thunderbomb. In the corner he goes. A perfectly placed target. He reverses. 
misses it. Bump you off. Good. Oh, this yeah. is how you punish your opponent, and he's enjoying every minute of it. I know Shinsuke, you ain't running away. You getting back, in back into the ring. Oh, no, he can be caught here. And the gun dog. In trouble in the grasp. It's big and time win in this tag team match. That match deserves another look. Here we go. See, at least, at least I could do the tag team thing. You see there's been multiple tag team maneuvers with me and Sammy. And taking out Shinsuke and Johnny Gargano is not that difficult. Especially once I put them in the silence, it's a wrap. Here are your winners. The undisputed WWE Universal Champion with another victory. Will you listen to the ovation from these ham and eggers? How can they love this guy so much? This right pairing can certainly do wonders, and make no mistake, this was a wonderful performance. Wonderful match. All right, I know this is a side story. That Hopefully, that shouldn't be it right now. Nice work, Blade Franco. Hopefully, we get a chance to do that again sometime. Yo, facts. I hope you got the message. You remember you lost against me and Sammy, right? What message? That the guys on NXT are easier than I thought? It's not about winning or losing. It's about res loyalty, respect, and fighting for the soul of NXT. It's about doing things the right way. You are exhausting. You want to know the truth? Yeah, I used NXT to help myself out. I was in a bad place on SmackDown and it gave me a chance to reset. Earning a title that Roman Reigns never had made it all the better. And then the second the second things got rough, you ran away back to SmackDown. We don't we don't run from trouble here in NXT. We stay and fight. You want me to stay and fight in NXT? How about I start with you? And to prove to you that I don't run from anything, we can make it a steel cage match. Deal? I was looking for something to do, uh I was looking for something to do at NXT Heat Wave. Can't wait to get you inside that cage and keep you there. Okay, let's see what you about, Johnny. Let's see. Like I said, Johnny is Mr. NXT, so I, I totally understand Johnny Gargano being the one to come at me with all this. Johnny Wrestling! The following contest is a steel cage match. Making his way to the ring, representing DIY from Cleveland, Ohio. Weighing in at 199 pounds, Johnny Gargano. Gargano has a never say die type of attitude and that rebel heart is always beating. Well, you can't keep him down for long, no matter how hard you try. All right, all right. It's the journeyman who's now on a journey to greatness. Oh, yeah. And his opponent from Hartford, Connecticut, weighing in at 240. Because this probably is the last one for this optional story. It just goes to show you, you can't judge a book by its cover, and you can't judge a wrestler by where they start their career. Match after match, the dark horse is turning doubters into believers. The doubts are probably the very thing that fueled him. He really should be thanking those of us who didn't have his back. Look, it's okay. I, I, I love everybody that was part of this journey right now. But we're gonna continue this journey with taking Johnny out Johnny Gargano in the steel cage. 
Universal Champion square off in a non-title steel cage match. Gargano has accused the champion of coming to NXT, leaving it worse off than running away back to SmackDown. Well, there will be no escaping in this match here tonight. Johnny Wrestling needs to let it go. It's not his job to be the NXT police. And if he's not careful, the champion might teach him that lesson the hard way. Oh, wow. Elbow drop. Piercing. Uh-oh. Shifts it back yeah, onto it. On the run. And that failed to hit the mark. What was you trying to do, Johnny? Huh? Boom! What was you trying to do? For Johnny Gargano to weather that hit. Reloading Sit for the there. world to see. I need you to think about what you've done, Johnny. Johnny, you wasn't stopping me, boy. I ran through you in probably the quickest match, match I've so had. Special. This actually was the quickest match I've had in universe mode. And I took you out with a spine buster, bro. I didn't Here even pull out anything winner, else. I just hit you with the spine Mr. buster. Blade. I feel a little bad. Match a little underwhelmed, but Nobody can keep the WWE Universal Johnny wanted Champion to prove me something to me. He the just right proved to me he may be Mr. NXT. Yet, but he will sooner or later in but this he's not universal champ material though. never nah. a doubt barely a moment's suspense this one was about as lopsided as they come it was worth a shot though it was it was worth a shot come and jam with me come and jam with me all right, that was it for the side story on there. Nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and add a little level up here. I'm gonna top off this one. So grappling is now at a full setting. All right, make sure I got that saved. All right. Whoa. <laughs> All right, so that was today's stream um i do hope you guys enjoyed this i will be back on thursday and on thursday we will continue this my rise uh we, I, I feel we got pretty far i don't i don't know how far we are in the story but we're, we're pretty far honestly actually before i close this let me let me look at it. story progression yeah there, there has to be a lot more going on so far i i was able to do everything but one thing on here the champion celebration all right and it looks like i might have lost the opportunity for one of the side stories possibly i don't know multiverse infinite champion oh this one also includes bcw oh i can't wait to try that but all right you guys i hope you enjoyed this stream so far i've been enjoying playing this my damn self has been very fun when we come back, we will continue on my rise, try to take out the side stories, and of course, continue the main story. But until then, I'll see you Thursday. Yup, yup.